Greetings to you believers. We thank God today once again for the mercies, abundant mercies of our Lord Jesus Christ, by which he has made it possible to convene under uh, the abundant grace and the light of his marvelous doctrine that he has given to us. Welcome to our second segment of our Sunday service. Just a quick reminder, we shouldn't forget the Revelation gathering we are going to hold from the 3rd to the 5th of May. We are going to be going to South Africa and we are hoping that all believers in the Africa region are going to gather in South Africa. Mozambique Territory, we expect to be with you. Zambia Territory, Botswana Territory, South Africa Territory. This one is a no-brainer. You are hosting the program and we are sure that we are going to be with you. We are hoping that all believers are going to make frantic efforts not to allow the the devil to distract us from such a great planned organized uh, event. Ezra chapter 1 verse 1. Elder Jeremiah, as you welcome our people, you are going to help us in reading this passage of scripture. And it's a very short chapter. It only has 11 verses we hope that we are going to read all of these verses at once because our message is going to be much more focusing on chapter 2 of the book of Ezra. Thank you. Thank you, Amai. Welcome, believers. We really thank God for today. Indeed, we thank the Lord for the grace. We thank the Lord for according us another opportunity to come and learn the word of the truth. We really thank God, Amai for such a time that the Lord has called us to come to his table and feast again. Ezra chapter 1. Now in the first year of Cyrus king of Persia, that the word of the Lord by the mouth of Jeremiah might be fulfilled, the Lord stirred up the spirit of Cyrus king of Persia, that he made a proclamation throughout all his kingdom and put it also in writing, saying, Thus says Cyrus king of Persia, the Lord God of heaven hath given me all the kingdoms of the earth, and he had charged me to build him a house at Jerusalem, which is in Judah. Who is so, uh, Pastor Rengi, as you also welcome our people, what do you still remember from the part one message? Remember, we had a part one where we were dealing with the identity of Cyrus. Yes. Thank you, Amai. Yes, sons of God, from every section, every assembly, every territory, every region, it is my greatest pleasure to have with you again in our second segment of our Sunday service. Thank you, Amai, if you have said, what is it that I still remember about the part one? Yes. Uh, it was indeed um, a message which I always failed to explain because of the amount of revelation that came to us where it was like it was our first time to read the book of Ezra, the book of Isaiah, even chapter 1 of Isaiah, where we were relating the kings that were there before uh, the coming in of or the building in of this temple that we were learning about, which was assigned to Cyrus, who never did the actual building, but we thank God we were learning, and then the identity of Cyrus was there in Isaiah 45, verse 15, which was quite a mystery when it is revealed the mystery of godliness uh, in a unique way, which we had never seen. And Amai, I want to tell you that scripture, yes, <laughs> I was amazed to see that 
the Lord God himself was referring to, um, to Cyrus as, uh, as, a, as, as the a anointed God, one. As God. Uh, and Cyrus is the anointed one. one. Yes. And also Cyrus is a God. Cyrus is a Cyrus God. Cyrus is God himself. Himself, yes. <laughs> <laughs> that says the Lord, Lord to his anointed. Yes. Uh, to Cyrus. Cyrus, uh, yes. Whose right hand I have holden mm -hmm. to subdue nations, nations before him. Yes. So, Pastor. Yes, I'm Nobody right. ever figured it out. No one. That Cyrus is mm -hmm. actually a type of Christ. Yes. 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 And it's not an revelation. No. It's God who said it. Yes. Mm -hmm. God said Cyrus is it's my like... anointed. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and we all know that Christ is the only anointed, anointed one. one. Yes. Of God. Of God. God never anointed Cyrus. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> so Quite interesting. It's interesting, mm -hmm. it had never been revealed. Yes. And this is what we continued to say, mm -hmm. the grace that is uh, given to an apostolic assignment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It is to discover uncharted territories. Oh, yes. Uncharted yes. territories are yes. discovered by an apostolic assignment. Mm -hmm. And verse 15, like you said, yes. it, it broke uh, the record. <laughs> yes. <laughs> because if that was Isaiah mm. speaking to Cyrus, Cyrus mm. yes. we could say Isaiah might have had a small pool of wheat. <laughs> Maybe Isaiah <laughs> took an aphrodisiac without knowing. Yes. <laughs> and so he yes. could not distinguish between God, God. and, and yes. Cyrus. Yes. yes. This is God mm -hmm. talking to a man. man. Yes. And God tells a man that you are God, God yes. that hidest thyself. Self, yes. <laughs> the God of Israel, the yes, Savior. Yes. yes. Yeah. <laughs> so Cyrus uh, continues to appear throughout mm -hmm. the book of Isaiah, Isaiah 45. Yes. yes. And we also saw that in Isaiah 44, 28, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. God spoke about yes. Cyrus. Yes. And he said, Cyrus That's is it. my shepherd. Yes. <laughs> and that <laughs> then concluded the matter. Oh, yes. yes. Christ is it. also the shepherd, the shepherd of God. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> taken to task to take care of God's <laughs> sheep. Yes. And in numerous scriptures of the Bible, mm -hmm. our Lord continued to say, I am, I am the good, good shepherd. shepherd. Yes. We looked at um, John <laughs> chapter 10, <laughs> verse 1 to 3, John chapter 10, 10. verse 11 to 17, mm -hmm. John chapter 10, yes. verse 24 to 31. Yes. And we also looked at first Apostle Peter 5. Peter, 4. Yes. In that scripture, <laughs> hey, Peter said shepherd. Yes. Christ is the chief shepherd. Yes. yes. So who now is the true shepherd? <laughs> is Cyrus the true shepherd? <laughs> oh. Because Isaiah says, God said of Cyrus, mm -hmm. he is my shepherd. shepherd. Mm -hmm. But we also know that Christ is the true shepherd. Mm -hmm. Yes. But we don't, we will never get into confusion. Mm -hmm. Because the qualities of a true shepherd mm -hmm. are in verse 11 and 12. Yes. Of John chapter 10. Mm -hmm. And that's how we discovered that Cyrus is not a true shepherd. Oh, yes. He was just in a, a picture yes. <laughs> of a true shepherd. Yes. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd. The good shepherd gives his life for the sheep. Yes. End of story. Yes. <laughs> Cyrus never gave his life, life yes, for okay. any sheep. <laughs> we don't have to put Cyrus and Christ yes. in the same category. Yes. Christ is the true shepherd mm -hmm. because he gave his life yes. for the sheep, yes. which Cyrus never did. Mm -hmm. Yes. So Cyrus is not the shepherd of God. No. <laughs> Cyrus is a picture, yeah. yes. is an allegory. Mm -hmm. of the good shepherd yes you see yes that was amazing that to really see amazing. christ in cyrus mm -hmm. yes because there were doctrinal controversies around that yes. cyrus was a gentile yes. how on earth could he end up becoming <laughs> the lord's anointed yes 
how could then God say, all nations mm -hmm. shall pray to Cyrus? Mm -hmm. huh? Do you still remember that scripture, Pastor, <laughs> where the Lord said, nations are going to come in verse 14. Yes. And they are going to make prayers. Mm -hmm. To Cyrus. Yes. Nikazi chao ya. Nikazi chao ya uzo nyinge tira. Kuna Cyrus. Let's read it again. Yes. That saved the Lord. The labor of Egypt. The labor of Egypt. And merchandise of Ethiopia. The business of Ethiopia. And of the Sabians. The business of the Sabians. Men of stature. Men of great renown. Shall come over unto thee. They will come to you, Cyrus. And they shall be thine. And you shall own all these people. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. The Sabians shall become be possessions people. of Cyrus. Yes. 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 Ethiopians yes. shall become the people of Cyrus. Yes. Yes. Of course, Egypt shall be owned by Cyrus. Yes. Yes. They shall be your people. Mm -hmm. Yes. They shall come after thee. They shall follow you, Cyrus. In chains, they shall come you over. You shall rule over them and they shall fall down unto you shall thee. sub they shall worship you uh, they shall yeah. fall down yes. unto you yes. Yes. and do what they shall make supplication unto thee saying, they shall pray <laughs> unto you cyrus and say what surely god is in thee and they shall say surely cyrus <laughs> god is in you and there is none else and there is none else there is no god there is no god beside <laughs> you cyrus was <laughs> <laughs> this is God telling Cyrus yes. nations shall fall oh, before Cyrus yes. and the nations shall pray to Cyrus yes. and the nations <laughs> shall say they surely God is in you Cyrus mm -hmm. there is no one else Cyrus mm -hmm. there is no, no God beside one. you <laughs> <laughs> ah so a certain tall charlatan <laughs> was visited by Zanu PF politicians in his church. Mm -hmm. And when he tried to defend why he was uh, singing praises to Zanu PF mm -hmm. uh, Chala as politicians, uh, and, and he, he quoted Isaiah 45. He said, mm -hmm. even a people who know not God can be described as the anointed of God. <laughs> he said God spoke about a gentle king many, many years before the king even came. And God described Cyrus as the anointed. So he was describing President Mnangagwa as the anointed, just like Cyrus. But in this case, it was God who said that. <laughs> the only problem with Makandiwa is God had not spoken about Mamunangagwa and said he's the anointed of God. <laughs> it was him mm. who was describing Mnangagwa as a great man mm. who is building Zimbabwe. Uh, yeah. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> a country where the hospitals do not have drivable ambulances is described as with a great developmental agenda. Mm. Huh? Yeah, yeah. A detailed report. Who from the pages? A decree. That the Jews must come out of captivity. He was not the leader of the Jews. God did not use the leader of the Jews. Cyrus said, when the Jews are going, give them money, give them food. Give them material to go and build. Darius and when Darius read this, he also wrote a letter to Cyrus. That whoever contracts the deliverance. 
Zvirikuitwa navaye den kuti chechi irarame chechi ibude iende. This is being done by non believers so that the church Kana uchiri kufunga kuti mwari vachiri kushanda ku church beds uchakapata wakakotsera mwari vapinda neku politics vari kushandisa ma politician iwo. God is also using politicians. Wake up. Sit down. Mungature nzimbo zenyu. You think if God wants to bring change in Zimbabwe, you'll talk to a pastor down there. For policies to change, are you made? No matter how much he prays. What he can only ask for God is, God, can you please use the Cyrus who are already in positions of influence? Why? Say Shinaguti. Honorable, I but then the other these congregants are afraid of they are afraid of being arrested they pray for you in secret they are afraid of being arrested so the prayers that they are always saying we are praying for our politicians they are afraid of getting into politics Why would God want to use you and leave these who are daring? Hello? Muriko ere. Hello? Muriko ere. Hello? Muriko ere. These are the Cyrus who have visited us here today. Ah. Here they are. They have come, they have seen Cyrus. If you have seen Cyrus, once he visits you, you maximize when he's in your presence. But if God wants this nation to change, he doesn't tell you. He goes to the houses of non believers. So that it be well for the Jews. Now in the first year of Cyrus, king of Persia, that the word of the Lord by the mouth of Jeremiah might be fulfilled, mm. the Lord stirred up the spirit of Cyrus. The Lord what? Stirred up. Whose spirit? The spirit of Cyrus. The Lord. The Lord. Cyrus. Wamware. The Lord stirred up that, the spirit of Cyrus. This is the entire message for today. You go home with the full knowledge. <laughs> if you want to wait for God to use you as an individual, look. Children, you are still struggling. Be wise. When you're praying, you must know how to pray. If you look at me, I look at a person who doesn't know what he's doing. Sadaro. Go and possess the industries that are being talked about. And leave those who are complaining to complain whilst you make money. Go and take over industry. When you eventually encounter problems, say it out if the police is not. You tell me and I go and tell you. That if you continue, we'll give another prophet. We'll give another prophet. To rise. Allow people to fend for their families. So if you come to Makandiwa, he will tell you when God said Cyrus is the anointed one, mm. he was talking about politicians like President Mnangagwa. Mm -hmm. When you come to Chuenga, Chuenga will show you Christ from the Cyrus scripture. Yes. Who 
between the two of us <laughs> knows the right way to read the Bible. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Instead of preaching Christ from Isaiah, mm -hmm. Makandiwa preached Zanu PF. Mm -hmm. His message was titled Mnanga Gwa and Zanu PF. <laughs> they are the present day Cyrus, the anointed uh, one of God. Uh, mm -hmm. If we wanted to be academic with the tall thief, mm -hmm. we could say to the tall thief, which house of God mm -hmm. was Mnanga Gwa charged to build <laughs> yes. just like Cyrus? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Which nations, which kingdom yes. are going to come to pray and to make supplications <laughs> to <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Mnanga Gwa? <laughs> Uh, Which vessels of the house of God mm -hmm. are in Mnangagwa's custody? Mm -hmm. Because when 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 Ezra wrote it mm -hmm. in those days, yes. Cyrus had the vessels of the house of God yes. in his custody. Mumbama yes. Cyrus, maeveni makapa amngari. Mumbama Cyrus manga mine ndiro zamngari ne maspuna amngari. Akanga Torwa na Nebuchadnezzar, mm. mambo e Babylon. Mm. Paka kundu wa oneva media, oneva pejia. Mm. Mizio ichi vya Torwa, oneva pejia. Yes. Ika garampalas mamambo. Saka mungari paru kuta oreneja Cyrus. Mm -hmm. Charu kuwavarida kuta reskiwe mizio yake. Mm -hmm. Igwenda kwenika kwayo kujirusare. Mm -hmm. Mizio ipi ya mungari. Mm. Ilipa zani pia fedi kutas. <laughs> <laughs> Am I <laughs> designers <laughs> with <to> be made? <laughs> I saw it already prophesied about it. He was <laughs> going. He was going. He was going to do what about verse twenty five? <laughs> that frustrates the tokens of the liars and makes diviners made of chapter forty four. <laughs> yes, yes, of chapter four. Uh, liars are, are frustrated. <laughs> yes. Huh? Yes. <laughs> the diviners are made made by yeah. God. Yes. Maruaka itava uki kutwave mi pengo. Yes. Sakam koma nam kure for arku penga. She says ano taura. Ano ano tora ma face. O a fitam situation yake MC woyo. She mangwana to zozo. She no jake and deje kamaiku. Anika micro if approach so. Sani kawia ku change kwake. Anu vatu tora vesi papo e papo. O to apply. Eh. Chino uh, zone zani chekuti kana ya zobamu office zanu. Mm -hmm. Aizaye nengi hatu expire. Okay. Kana jiri shosha jinengi fichirewa. Mm -hmm. Saka tino tutenda omari isu takavuru wa meso. Yes. Tino ziva magwaru manyori waka itwa. Yes. Uye takapi wamu ya mchene. Mm -hmm. Anodu zira magwaru. Mm -hmm. Ne kuziva kwa karinga na kwa kazara kusina kuperevera yes kwa kanga kuri po kunyange na mazoa na pao yes vana pao romfunge vaiverenga Isaiah vona Jesu oh yes vana e mufangeri Philip mm -hmm. vaitoverenga o Isaiah yes vachiona Jesu yes izvo kuverenga Isaiah muona zani izvo sikatutangira mm. <laughs> mungango ida enyumari <laughs> Koma shingasi shumwe zacho muno zoenderera eh ngati verenge murando wa mwari ngati verenge ine shona tione kuti pauro zvakanga eh achiverenga ngati sei pauro ngati ende kumvhangeri tikati kabata mpostora tingaomisira mukoma shingi pa levo yema apostora avambofa vakashika upenyu wavo wese Semuna akamba akambenga ari pastor akazita reverend <laughs> akazo promote kwa akaita <laughs> prophet <laughs> ah ja atizomboshika kuma apostora ukaona pro, 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 promotion ya mkoma manu ino rwadza kuti muna akatebenga ari pastor tokuvhazo page sira <laughs> <a> prophet <laughs> asa zvamboitika bible zvezvo pastor makambo zvona <laughs> <laughs> Pakati pa pastor na prophet <laughs> mukuru <laughs> ndiye. <laughs> mukuru ndiye pastor kana. Yes. Nekuti pastor anozvara vana mm. vamwari. Mm. Prophet azvare vana vamwari. Mm. Prophet akafanana na neni anopiwa mwana atozvarwa kare. Mm. Yes. Opota achisirwa seri lake. Mm. Fidamwa nawe 
uye mprofeti aache ngete mwana for a long time yes ekuti mm-hmm. mprofeti haana content mazwa ese yes. a profeta vamwari vai pota vachiprofeta mm-hmm. izvo kuti mande uno profeta chuze o profeta izvo azvimomba ibe <laughs> akutori na mprofeta ya profeta every day hakuna <laughs> <laughs> chipo chakadare <laughs> pasta chiri kwere <laughs> chipo cha kuprofeta mazwa ese uno ko chichiona kuti <laughs> So kuti vana Elijah vakatouya nana Isaiah vanotoita mariro manyowani vanobata gods ochema evo mari nyika patuka izwe zvakutorwa nevakoma nawo unongo chiporo vita chi every day because prophesying believers kuporofita kutaura hurongwa wa mwari yes kuprofita akuzikudza vanhu zvinovanetsa mm. se zvatiri kuona mazivano uku kuuka u kuti waisa vavi wa kumusana prophet ndi prophet iwo musana wangu uri kuvaba waisa ari kushaiwa basa prophet ndi kuda kunokanda cv akuzikuprofita u kuuka yes kuprofita akuzikudza vanhu namo dzavo mhm kuprofita ku announce urongwa hwa mwari oh, yes zvino yes. mwari hararame mu monday ne mu tuesday ne mu wednesday no. kuti mwaranga ku page profita che monday okupa che profita che tuesday mwari hararame mu days mm. mwari anorarama mu divine program yes. the divine program of god is not measured in days yes. it's measured in instructions yes. it's measured in events mm. it's measured in in, in milestones God wants this to be done and after this has happened this then will happen later. Yes. And so God cannot give a prophet a message every day. Mm-hmm. This is why you see these so called prophets they preach and then they say we want to prophesy. Yes. But the prophets never preached. Mm-hmm. <laughs> It's not the role of prophets to preach. Yes. Prophets do not preach. Yes. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah no amwari amen tuda kutaura neshona ma profita paridze akuna mprofita ano paridza akuna asimu paridze ano profita yes asimu profita paridze yes chese no ambwa ne mprofita ayo zvitaka zvitaura okare kuti hakuna chechi inotunga mirwa nemprofita mbaibeli akuna eh hakuna chechi inotunga mirwa Nemporofita mm. mbaiberi kwete 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 so when i said this some few years ago mm-hmm. i said there's no church yes. that can be led by yes. a prophet yes. somebody said but moses was a prophet mm-hmm. this is how he led the children Hebrew. of israel mm-hmm. from egypt mm-hmm. to canaan mm-hmm. and i didn't answer i felt sorry for such a person <laughs> do you know that elder when someone is sick mm. and you know that they are sick mm. you don't take offense even when they insult you yes even when he says you are a dog yes mm-hmm. you'll be feeling pity and say is there anything i can do to help <laughs> do you want a plate of food can i buy you a bottle of coke <laughs> have you taken your medication <laughs> are you feeling warm Unongo chitoita rudo pasa hadizo. Unaita rudo. Rudo chai. Ukaziva kuti munhu uyu anorwara. Yes. Machala tanzi haagone kundivhurira verse. I have said it so many times. Yes. I am not trying to blow my own horn. I am just expressing the grace of God that is given unto me. Yes. Makadi wa cannot open a verse to chwenga. Magaya cannot open a verse to me. Yes. I can open scriptures to them. Yes. They don't have the capacity yes. to open a scripture to me. Yes. Let's face it believers. Yes. It will be an insult. Yes. I can't have a scripture a short down with these guys. Yes. Before you open a scripture, mm-hmm. you need a GPS location mm-hmm. to navigate through scriptures yes. which they don't have. Mm-hmm. Imagine after opening Isaiah 45 mm-hmm. to argue that Mnangagwa is also mentioned in the Bible. Mm-hmm. He is in Isaiah 45. Mm-hmm. He is the anointed one of God. Mm-hmm. 
Can such a man open a scripture for me? Uh, Can such a man open a scripture to argue with me? As you go, as you tend to say, Muisir Anga for rich winger by berry, who methodist Anga and for a by berry. As it level you are, I bude. Nyasha Zamar is a taka piwa. This is the witty thing item, Sarah. You are, I as it. Kanadikataona ma vesaji ngangu wa yeva ndoti ewo pajigaere dae maona chekujila marara na uza matanga izimuri kuma kumbo kumbo kwa zo shukuti nika kupa emu youth weda ni 15 years ano guna kutokufura ima guaro indaka gara tisi naka na mdiko ni kana pasta watinga kupei so it's unfortunate so Makandi was opened Isaiah 45, and he proved that <laughs> God was talking about politicians like Mnanga mm -hmm. They are the anointed ones of God. Mm -hmm. I was embarrassed. Yeah. <laughs> These are the Cyrus who have visited us here today. Ah. Here they are. Wow, yeah, what you want? They've come, they've seen Cyrus Kanango, we are going to go to the if you have seen Cyrus, once he visits you, you maximize when he's in your presence. Yes. <laughs> uh, I think in that particular day, there was a minister in his church right. with a scarf over his neck. Mm -hmm. So he was justifying his alliance, mm -hmm. his association with murderers mm -hmm. and, and, and uh, those who are destroying the economy. Mm -hmm. But they are also covered in the Bible. But of course, those who argued that Moses, as a prophet, he was leading the Church of Israel, mm -hmm. would actually need some help, mm -hmm. some comfort as well. Mm -hmm. We would need to hope that in God's time, they will wake up. Mm -hmm. yeah. The truth of the matter mm -hmm. is that Moses had a more superior responsibility mm -hmm. than that of a prophet. Yes. Of course he was a prophet, yes. but he was more than a prophet. prophet. Yes. Moses is described in Hebrews 9, mm -hmm. verse 16 to 21. Yes. That's the scripture where we take the full identity and the full uh, apex responsibility of Moses, yes. he was not leading the house of Israel mm -hmm. as a prophet. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, if you think like that, well, we can't really help you. Uh, we, we can hope mm -hmm. that before you die one day, the <laughs> Lord will open your heart <laughs> to realize that you don't know. Yes. You know, the greatest problem with charlatans is they don't know that they don't know. Mm -hmm. yes. They mm -hmm. think they know. Mm -hmm. Yes. And this is why they are so confident, yes. even when they are miserable mm -hmm. in what they are preaching. Yes. You see, the confidence with which Makandiwa handles himself and the emptiness of his <laughs> mouth yeah. and his soul mm -hmm. concerning doctrine, mm -hmm. yes. the, 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 the comparison is actually paradoxical yes. and strange and, and, and bizarre. Mm -hmm. How can such an empty soul have such great confidence. Yes. Muna singa ziva shenu shiri besi ki kudai. Ano wana kupi chivi ndi. Che kutaurisa. So kushikira muno muna 2023 muno. Uchiri kufunga kuti pakanza anointed Cyrus. Ndi politije na erewa. 2023. Do you know believers that Makandiwa started to preach 10 years or more before I became an apostle? Yes. To such an extent that as somebody who spent three years at Bible college, mm -hmm. of course he went there through the back door, he had failed this all level. Mm -hmm. But we, we, <laughs> we, we can't really help that. A man who smuggled Makandiwa into Living Waters Bible College is called Guru Pira. I even know his name. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't qualify to enroll through the front door. <laughs> so we have a fake theological certificate <laughs> that was obtained through the back door. Mm. But this is the basis of his pastoral duties. Mm. You can research this, I'm not lying. A man called Gurupira 
smuggled Makandiwa into Living Waters Bible School yes. after he failed to qualify. He didn't have enough or levels. But be that as it may, he spent three years studying a diploma in theology. Mm. And, and I'm saying on top of those three years, he has more than 10 years mm -hmm. of ministry before I became a minister myself. Mm -hmm. My problem with him is, how come he knows so little mm -hmm. about fundamental structures of mm -hmm. sound doctrine? Mm -hmm. yes. For example, when you are reading Old Testament scriptures, they are a mirror of Christ. Yes. They are a mirror of the uh, messianic duties of Christ. If you don't find messianic duties of Christ from the Tanaka Bible, you are in deep trouble. Yes. But look, an evangelist knows how to preach from the book of Isaiah. Mm -hmm. A prophet does not know. <laughs> <laughs> and that is not a marvel. Mm -hmm. Prophets are not preachers. Yes. They are not holders of doctrine. Yes. Mm -hmm. The actual description of a prophet in the Bible is the word herald. Mm -hmm. right. A prophet is a town yeah. crier. Yes. Mm -hmm. But he is not a daily town crier. Mm -hmm. A prophet is an incidental town crier. Yes. When God has got something he wants to publish, mm -hmm. an event concerning what God wanted to do, mm -hmm. that's when he would give a message to the prophets. At any time from the, for the 1,200 years mm -hmm. that the Church of Israel functioned, 1,200 years, mm -hmm. yes. Not even a single day mm -hmm. did any child of Israel left his home to go to the temple mm -hmm. and was received by a prophet. <laughs> Not even a single day. Mm -hmm. Yes. He would go to church and come back mm -hmm. home without seeing a prophet, mm -hmm. without finding a prophet. Okay. Yes. And not wonder mm -hmm. what is wrong with our church. Yes. The church had its own servants of yeah. the church. Mm -hmm. yeah. And the servants of the church did not include prophets. Mm -hmm. Yes. To such an extent that when a prophet arrived at a church, there was no particular chair reserved for prophets. Mm -hmm. They had no function in the church. <laughs> uh, <yeah. laughs> Jeremiah could not go to the temple and say, I want to do prophetic work in the <laughs> temple. Mm -hmm. The sons of Aaron would say, which function of a prophet? Yes. They pick up in 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 Prophets never entered into the yes. sanctuary. Yes. They ended in the outer court. Mm. Yes. And when we speak in respect of the, the tabernacle of congregation, mm -hmm. it means that the prophets did not enter into the tent, the tabernacle oh, yes. of congregation. Yes. 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 So when you read the scriptures like Ezekiel, Jeremiah, mm -hmm. don't confuse yourself because Jeremiah and Ezekiel yeah. were both the prophets and the priests, yes. just like yes. Samuel. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. When it happened, when it coincided, that's when you could find a prophet mm -hmm. in the sanctuary. Mm -hmm. yes. Of course, Jeremiah is a, has the priesthood blood in his body. Mm -hmm. He was from Anathoth, mm -hmm. just like Ezekiel was also a priest, mm -hmm. just like Ezra. Mm -hmm. was also a priest, just like Samuel mm -hmm. was both a prophet and a priest. This information I have given you, my God does not know. <laughs> Makandiwa does not know. How was you say? Yeah, how was you But if you wanted to argue, find me a scripture mm -hmm. in which when Jesus came, mm -hmm. he met a prophet. Mm. 
in the temple. Mm. It's very easy to prove this position. Mm. Yes. Jesus was here, wasn't he? He was he there. Was. was there no temple in Jesus' days? The John 2 there. says he entered into the, the temple. temple. Yes. It was on the day of Passover. Mm -hmm. Did he find the prophets? No. no. <laughs> There's one prophet that Jesus met in his ministry. Mm -hmm. Yes. It was John the Baptist. Oh, yes. Was he in the temple first? No. <laughs> hey, was John in the temple? No, he was not. Where was John? In the wilderness, in the river Jordan. <laughs> in the wilderness, yes. in the Judean desert. Yes. yes. And John's prophetic ministry mm. was not hindered by his absence from the temple. Mm. As a prophet, he had no duties in the house, house of God. Of God mm. yes. John's message as a prophet was clear. Mm -hmm. Prepare the, the way, way. Yes. for his coming. Yes. That was enough. Yes. Did John keep any church for congregation, Pastor? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> was there any church at the Judean Desert? No. no. Was there any church at the Jordan River? No. 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 Mm. Prophets are not allowed to keep mm. the congregation. Mm. Yes. My prophet, I tell you, we ungano. Nekuti ana 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 chikaf chino fidamu ya evan. Yes. Saka uchizo pezi sira wa kuvanzo kwa chit. I am more gifted than God. Yeah. But we are talking about the true prophets now. Mm. In the list of true prophets, Magandiwa cannot fit. Yes. Magaya cannot fit. Mm -hmm. Ah, kanavari vana sanya nguri na na mazibaba mazango na na prophet. Sibanda ne mangu majo kizao aiwa tina tatu mbuta ora watitinga torle zama sangu ere kana tika dagu lista ma profite ne ma uyo ato profite kana zene ne ma ka uyo anongori mu uki full time so. When we are going to talk about the prophets, even in that list of prophets, mm. they don't fit. Yes. But I want, to, I want to say, this is also something that is amazing. Mm -hmm. When I started preaching, I was confused because the things that the Lord was teaching me, mm. this is the right message, my son. This is the right understanding, my son. For example, he said to me, look, the message of the gospel is based on Jesus Christ. It's all about Jesus Christ. Yes. When you have nothing to say about Jesus Christ, you have no message. Yes. Don't do what others are doing. Mm. You only speak about Jesus by revelation. Yes. And this is why when you look at our logo, our mantra is, it's all about Jesus Christ. Mm. Yes. Those words are not my words. Mm. Yes. Those are the words that he said to me. Yes. And so we said, let's keep these words. Yes. Lest we get ourselves into the bush. Yes. And I was wondering, but why doesn't this whole bunch of preachers know these things? How am I going to survive? Mm. In a spiritual society, where everyone is preaching a wrong message. Mm. Who is going to believe me? I found myself in my own wilderness. Mm. But I said, that's what he said. I'm sure it was him. Mm. Let me do just that. Mm -hmm. He is greater than all these people combined. Oh, yes. Yes. So he will give me the direction to take. And he said, I have people that I'm going to bring to you. Yes. Don't look for people. I'll bring you people myself. Mm. Yes. This is why when, when we preach, we are not very, very frantic and desperate <laughs> about members. Yes. Yes. Even when I got in the Akubuda church, Toto Mone got to say, Kerera, Toto Ronnes got to go and I went to go and say, Is one who to know our only problem is we don't want all the people. No. Yes. We want the right God people. Yes. Mm. And we know the right people are lured by the word. Yes. And yes. the word which lures you, mm -hmm. you can't after some two months say, I'm no longer interested in the word. Mm. Yeah. So when you go, we say, Well, you shouldn't even have come in the first place mm. because you were not lured by the word. Whatever lured you expired, mm. 
Yes. The only thing that doesn't expire is the word. Mm-hmm. So those who came because of the word, they will stick around yes. until the Lord returns. Mm-hmm. So when you come, we thank God. You say, Lord, you have just fulfilled what you promised. You said you are going to bring your people to us. Mm-hmm. And when you go, we say, thank you, Lord. <laughs> this one was not brought here by you. Yes. He came on his own volition. Yes. May he find peace wherever he's going. Mm-hmm. But here we want kingdom and, and kingdom people and the elect. Yes. Yes. It's amazing, Pastor, yes, that right now we are in 2024. Mm-hmm. We have people who do not know that prophets do not keep congregations. Yeah. <laughs> hey. There's no congregation that was led by the prophet in the Bible. Mm-hmm. Not even one. Yes. No. But let's read Hebrews chapter 9, 16 to 21. For to where? show you that Moses had a greater responsibility yes. than, than the, the prophetic prophet. responsibility. Yes. yes. You For understand? W- yes. Yes. For where a testament is. Where a testament is. They must of also of necessity be the death of the testator. For a testament is of force after men are dead. Otherwise, it is of no strength at all while the testator lives. Whereupon neither the first testament was de- dedicated without blood. For when Moses had spoken every precept to all the people according to the law, he took the blood of cows and of goats with water and scarlet wool and he soap and sprinkled both the book and all the people, saying, This is the blood of the testament which God has enjoined unto you. Moreover, he sprinkled with blood both the tabernacle and all the vessels of the ministry. All right. And so the apostle there, the, the book of Hebrews was written by Paul. Mm. We proved it so many months ago. Yes. yes. We will not talk about it now, but we are very sure mm-hmm. it is Paul who wrote the book of Hebrews. Yes. But we are in Hebrews chapter 9. Mm-hmm. And we wanted to show you that Moses was more than a prophet. prophet yes. Moses had also another office, mm-hmm. the office of a testator. Yes. So the scripture says, for a where a testament is, there must also of necessity be the death of the testator. Mm-hmm. So the word testator in Shona, what could we say? Mm-hmm. We could say testator and ye nyanduri kanaut in muvambi we sungano. Yes. Saga verse sixteen in Ungoriva would kana queen sungano muvambi wayo. Mm-hmm. Uno tarisiri wana mngari kuti afe. Yes. Kuti sungano yake, mm-hmm. igo wana simba. Mm-hmm. Yes. Ndizo zirigurewa mm-hmm. ne Hebrews chapter 9 verse 16. Read the Shona version, Pastor. No kuti apu pane testamende. Pano fanila kuwa po rufuru kwa hiya wakaita. Aha. Mm-hmm. So the Shona does not give us the alternative transliteration of the word testator. Mm-hmm. It gives a description. Mm-hmm. Rai wakaita. Yes. But the most close uh, noun in my mind right now mm-hmm. is akaivamba, mm-hmm. muvambi. Mm-hmm. Yes. The word testata, it mm-hmm. means muvambi. Yes. We sungano. We sungano. Mm-hmm. So, ngaruri kuti, sungano kana ishi gazirwa. Mm-hmm. Muvambi wayo sungano, mm-hmm. uno tarisirwa na mngari kufa, kuti sungano yake iwane simba. Hey. Verse 17. No kuti testamente ine simba kana vanu wafa. Yes. Ne kuti haitongo vi ne simba kana wakaita achiri mpeni. Aha. Mm-hmm. A testament can never take effect. Yes. While its testator mm-hmm. is alive. Yes. So the discussion here is the establishment, mm-hmm. the consummation mm-hmm. of a testament. Mm-hmm. Yes. How does a testament become effective? Yes. I have a book. We are going to uh, bring the new copies now. Uh, we have not the books in the library for a long time. Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, we, we, we were disrupted by the accidents yes. from our uh, authorship work. But we described the processes under which, the procedures under which mm-hmm. a testament comes into effect. Mm-hmm. 
But this is a requirement by God. Yes. Once we find a testament, mm -hmm. we must know where, when it becomes functional yes. mm -hmm. or operational. Yes. And this is a position of scripture. Mm -hmm. The testator is required to die. Mm -hmm. In the Bible, yes. there are two testaments. Mm -hmm. There is the Old Testament mm -hmm. yes. of the law of Moses. Yes. Into that one, mm -hmm. only Israelites were admitted. Mm -hmm. None Jews have never been part of the Old Testament. Mm -hmm. There are no provisions by which non-Jews are admitted mm -hmm. into the Old Testament. Mm -hmm. And that is also because of the priesthood responsibilities. Yes. Mm -hmm. The design of the Levitical priesthood completely and irrevocably uh, but the admission of Gentiles. Mm -hmm. I could give you a small analysis for those who say we are interested in further learning. Mm -hmm. The breastplate of judgments. Mm -hmm. yes. So remember, on the breastplate of judgment, mm -hmm. which the high priest wore mm -hmm. on top of the ephod, yeah. there were 12 stones, mm -hmm. precious stones, mm -hmm. And each of those precious stones mm -hmm. represented the 12 sons mm -hmm. of Israel. Yes. And on his shoulder mm -hmm. over his robe, mm -hmm. he had two onyx stones. Yes. On each onyx stone was written the list of six of the 12 sons of Israel. Yes. So the responsibility of the Aaronic priesthood mm -hmm. was that upon entering into the sanctuary, to execute the service of God mm -hmm. and upon entering the holiest of all to execute the ordinances of Yom HaBikurim, mm -hmm. the high priest had to remember mm -hmm. the 12 sons of Israel yes. and make mm -hmm. intercessions okay. on their behalf. Yes. In their order, yes. in their order, mm -hmm. not forgetting mm -hmm. the issue of the birthright. Yes. This is why if you look at Leviticus 16, we don't have time to look into that. Mm -hmm. After slaughtering mm -hmm. the sin offering God mm -hmm. to execute Yom Abikurim, mm -hmm. the other God, he held it by yeah, its horns yes. and he confessed mm -hmm. the sins of, of the 12, 12 tribes, tribes of Israel. Yes. He had to remember their names. Mm -hmm. This is a structural exclusion mm -hmm. of the Gentiles. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If God wanted to include Gentiles, mm. he could have added one thirteenth stone yes. on the breastplate of judgment <laughs> worn by the high priest. Yes. Or he could have left a mm. blank line on those two onyx stones mm -hmm. upon which he was going to make an addition, mm -hmm. including one of the tribes of the Gentiles. Mm -hmm. This is why I said... Mm -hmm. The Gentiles had no access to the Old, Old Testament. Testament. Yes. So there are two testaments. The Old Testament was only dis designed to admit the Jews. Mm -hmm. yes. The New Testament incorporates both the Jews and Gentiles. There are so many scriptures to address that. The primary of which is John chapter 10, verse number 11 to verse number 16. Mm -hmm. Other one is actually... Uh, Galatians chapter 3, 27 to 28. You may read those in your own time as well as Romans 1, 16 and 17. Yes. So, so the New Testament acknowledges or accepts both Jews and Gentiles to join in. That's why you and I are children of God today. <laughs> we got access to God through the New Testament. Yes. And this is what Hebrews chapter 10, <laughs> Hebrews chapter 10, Hebrews chapter 10, Hebrews chapter 10, verse 19 says. Yes. Yes. Having therefore, brethren, boldness to enter into the holiest. Having the therefore, brethren, boldness yes. to enter into the holiest mm. by the blood of Jesus. To yes. enter where? By a new and living way. By a new and living way. Highlight that. Yes. yes. We have a new way mm -hmm. to yes. enter into the into the holiest. Yes. We are going to see that he's talking about the holiest. Yes. Because verse 19, it simply says, we have boldness mm -hmm. to enter, enter into, into the, the holiest. holiest. Yes. How? He then says, well, we are going to use a new way. Mm -hmm. Huh? Yes. yes. And those who are not ardent and fervent 
students of scripture, mm -hmm. we will not remember that this scripture is a continuation mm -hmm. of what he had said, what he had said in verse 8 of Hebrews chapter 9. Mm -hmm. You see now. Yes. Yes. yes, the Holy Spirit, this signifying mm -hmm. that the way into, into the, the holiest, holiest was oh. not yet made manifest, <laughs> while as the first tabernacle <laughs> was yet standing. <laughs> 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 that is, now we know if a new and a living way. You see now, yes. It's a continuation. Oh, yes. Which means the Old Testament mm. did not have a way yes. to enter into the holiest. Yes. 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 The way into the holiest yes. is revealed yes. in the New Testament. Yes. Yes. So yes. those who were in the Old Testament wasted their time <laughs> yes. because they, they they functioned in a testament <laughs> that did not have a road <laughs> yes. to the destination. Yes. Imagine you are in a car <laughs> and you are supposed to reach a certain destination, <laughs> mm. but there is no road yes. to take you to <laughs> that, that new destination. destination. Yes. <laughs> So the mm. new and living way yes. described in verse 20 of Hebrews 10 mm -hmm. was a solution a prognosis to the problem the, uh, I discovered in Hebrews 9, 8, 9, 8. Yes. where he says the way into the holiest was, was not yet manifest. Yes. So the new way is the New Testament. Yes. You see? Mm. So Moses was more than a prophet. Mm -hmm. Let's go back to Hebrews 9. Yes. We are looking at testaments. There are two mm. testaments. Yes. yes. So we know Jesus is the testator mm. of the New, new Testament. Testament. Yes. We also know that Moses was a testator mm -hmm. of the Old Testament. Yeah. So when you talk about the duties Moses executed as he led the children of Israel out of Egypt mm -hmm. to the promised land, mm -hmm. most of those duties mm -hmm. are testatorial duties. Mm -hmm. right. They are not prophetic duties. Amen. If you want to talk to me about the prophetic duties of so Moses, Moses. <laughs> Talk to me about Deuteronomy 18, 15. Yes. Those yes. are his prophetic duties. Yes. When he prophesied mm -hmm. about the coming of Christ. Yes. But when you talk about leading the house of Israel mm -hmm. to the promised land, mm -hmm. he was not a prophet, my dear. Yes. He was a testator. Yes. Let's not read it, Pastor. Mm -hmm. We are just dealing <laughs> with a bunch of people <laughs> who love to claim to know, but they don't mm -hmm. know. Amen. And I'm also showing you that it's a mistake for mm -hmm. a charlatan to try and open scriptures mm -hmm. yes. for Apostle Juenga. Yes. It's a terrible mistake. <laughs> Now he was on navigator Maguaro. Ah, I was just going to say, but I don't know how to go. So let's read verse 17. For a testament is of force after men are dead. Otherwise, it is of no strength at all. Yes. While the testator is alive. Yes. yes. Ah, la, la. Amen. Amen. So okay. let us see how it happened. Verse 18. Whereupon neither, Whereupon neither the first testament was dedicated without blood. Whereupon mm -hmm. is now clarifying the first testament. Yes. What happened with the first testament? Mm -hmm. Yes. Verse, uh, verse 19. For when Moses had spoken every precept to all the people according to the law. Wait. Is he describing prophetic duties of Moses? No. That's testatorial. He's discussing testatorial duties mm -hmm. of yes. Moses. Yes. Mm -hmm. The word whereupon, mm -hmm. it simply means, it means premised on the above information. Mm -hmm. Yes. The Old Testament could not have been consummated without blood. Amen. Mm -hmm. Because when Moses had spoken every precept to mm -hmm. all the people mm -hmm. according to the law, mm -hmm. he took the blood of cows and goats with water and scarlet wool and he soap and sprinkled both the book and all the people yes. and said what? Saying, this is the blood of the testament which God hath enjoined unto you. And then in verse 21 it says, for almost all things, uh, it is sprinkled with the blood, both the tabernacle and all the vessels of the ministry. So Moses took a insop. Yes. Those who don't know scriptures, the issue it discussed, uh, discussed by our apostle in this passage is in Exodus chapter 24 from <laughs> verse 1 yes. to verse 9, yes. particularly verse 8 and 9. Yes. Particularly verse 8 and 9. And Moses yes. and took Moses, the blood. Yes. yes. And sprinkled it on the people. Yes. And said, 
Behold the blood of the covenant which the Lord has made with you concerning all these words. Nine. Then went up Moses and Aaron, Nadab and Abihu, and seventy of the elders of Israel. Let's end there. We can mm. we, we could read it further with, in your time. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, these are not prophetic activities of Moses. Yes. Mm -hmm. These are the duties of mm -hmm. Moses mm -hmm. as a testator. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yes. So, it's unfortunate that people would discuss doctrine when they do not know these details. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I've just clarified it. Yes. Moses did not lead the house of Israel as a prophet. No. no. There is no church... <laughs> That is led by a prophet. Mm -hmm. And there is no prophet who can sprinkle blood upon the people mm -hmm. and upon the vessels of the sanctuary. Mm -hmm. Such a duty has never been done by a yes. prophet. Hakuna mm prophet -hmm. akambo bata hiso upi akasasava nunaru. Achitora ropa. Na weye ropa shamwari nde uprisita. Moses was a Levite. Mm. He belonged to the priesthood of Aaron, yes. even though he was never consecrated yes. to execute the duty of a priest mm. and the duty of a high priest. It is because the high priest can only function after the testator has finished the primary construction duties to establish the covenant. Amen. If the testator does not exist, yes. there is no job for any priest. Yes. A priest is a worker of the temple. Yes. It is the duty of the testator to establish the temple. Amen. This is why it is Moses who supervised the establishment of the Ark of the Testimony, Amen. the tabernacle of the congregation. Yes. You understand? Yes. yes. All right, so let's leave this one. Mm -hmm. I was just saying, perhaps someone might want to say it again. <laughs> I saw it. I said, there's no church mm -hmm. that can be led by a prophet. prophet. And somebody says, but Moses was a prophet. <laughs> Sit down. <laughs> Have you eaten your lunch? <laughs> can we buy you a piece of bread and a coke? <laughs> Sit down. <laughs> what do you know about doctrine? Mm. Do you think this is a political rally? No. Huh? Isusu Tirivanu Anuzama Gwaru. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. This is why you see we don't come with notebooks we don't come with notebooks to preach. <laughs> All the scriptures I'm citing here are not written anyway. Yes. You can see the whole studio. Yes. There's no way that I'm looking for all the scriptures that I'm giving you now. It's my job to show you sound doctrine. Amen. You understand? Yes. So, Pastor, Am I? there is no church that can be led by a prophet. Yes. It's a Dracula. Yes. <laughs> Chipoko. Yes. yes. Freddy is a ghost. Magandua is a ghost. Maga is a ghost. As yes. far as the structure of a church is concerned, concerned. it's yes. a ghost. Yes. Kona church yakans, chakadaru, chakadaru ministries, prophet so and so. Mm -hmm. It's a ghost. Yes, it's a ghost. Because kapa church no tunga mirwa ni porofita. Urugona chipoko. Asimon baby. Akuna, yes. <laughs> Let's assume that you follow Makandiwa. <laughs> Is there any prophet you can think of right now mm -hmm. who could have led a church in the Bible? Mm -hmm. What about this one? Mm -hmm. Come up with any name. Any name. Any name in the Bible. And I will mm -hmm. clarify it for you. A guy. Ah, that one. There was no church in the days of Haggai. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Pastor. Yes. In the days of Haggai, yes. there was no church. <laughs> but Do you want me to prove it? Yes. Read Haggai chapter 1, verse 3. <laughs> <laughs> Start from verse 1. Yes. In the days of Haggai, yes. there was no church. There was no congregation. <laughs> The Israelites were just coming out of exile. Mm -hmm. There was no temple to talk about. Pakusina <laughs> church. Mazwa Aga. Yes. But our story now could end up on the matter. In the days of Aga, in the days of Zachariah, yes. there was no church. 
<laughs> so your question is moot. It's in, it's, it called it, it called it kind. Yes, it can't Not it. applicable. Yes. Given the circumstances. Okay, chapter one. Verse three says, Then came the word of the Lord by Hegai the prophet, saying, Yes. Is it time for you, O ye, to dwell in your sealed houses, and this house lie waste? <laughs> 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 there was no house of God <laughs> in the days of Agar. Let's end it. Yes. The, the house of God was lying waste yes. in the days of Agar. Okay. church. Yes. church. Israel. peace Mm. Mm. Elder, is there any prophet you can think of that you can uh, throw randomly and say, Apostle, I think this one led a church? Ah, my <laughs> 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 was a priest. <laughs> Chirimaya was a priest. <laughs> yes. Ah, <laughs> 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 Jeremiah was a priest, so he, he could was. He, he was he was the custodian of the, of the things of God. Yes. I don't preach to to go to preach to Masisha Jeremiah. Mm-hmm. Yes. Ah, so got it. Apana, this apana. This one we say apana. Apana, Elijah, moto zota zude. Elijah, anga turi persona na nigrata. Temberi. I to go to the mosque. <laughs> it's an amazing pastor. It is. That prophets walked in the streets. Yes. They never came to the temple. <laughs> Imagine Aaron and Shinzaru Kukara Kumbakumka to his name. And the last Kanabakashikabanungo <laughs> 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 And now it's amazing. We had we are believers. Let's let's take up a believer or two on the Zoom. <laughs> let's find out if you have managed to understand this. The Lord wants us to discuss it, yes. even though it's peripheral mm-hmm. to my present day message. Yes. But it's never something that we should be discussing at this point. Mm-hmm. And our people don't know about it. Mm-hmm. That there is no prophetic church in the Bible. Yes. Yeah. There is no prophetic ministry mm-hmm. in the Bible. Yes. Where a minister, a prophet, people come to spend the whole day mm-hmm. being taught about God mm-hmm. by a prophet. Yeah. It's, a it's a ghost. It's not in the Bible. Yeah. Ajimon Baiberi. 11:28, the book of Acts. Mm-hmm. This is what I do, believers. I'm a preacher. Start from verse 27. I am an apostle, and my job is to show you sound doctrine. Mm-hmm. Yes. When I tell you that a charlatan cannot open scriptures for me, this is what I'll be telling you. I don't spend the whole day glaring at the Bible, Mm -hmm. staring at scriptures, Mm -hmm. and come here to prove that I know. 
If you want to know this whole week, I never opened the Bible yes. outside when I was in the studio. Mm -hmm. yes. You may not even believe it. So no release and sat down before a Bible because we are going to enter the studio and it's busy. I sit down before a Bible because I'm doing some sanga. The shida go vara di zavani shukuramari. Kwete shukuti ndoda go zizi zama guaro. And no bobe ringa oshangwa si. Isu zinengi chekuita ne kupi wanyasha na mngari. Yes. Kudarika effort ye kurava magwaru. Yes. Kana ujufungo ndrugunye pa. Jipe target isu. Kutudaku kuri rava ushika wawo kuri ziva. Mm. Seja ando ita. <laughs> Ugo na uti pa une nguwa kufu une nguwa ushika pa hafe. <laughs> ye pandiri isu. Inyasha za mngari. Yes. Hakuna yes. college jino zizi za munu baibel ushika wawo kuri ziva. Seja ah, antine ita isu. Hakuna. 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 Mm -hmm. In those days came yes. prophets from Jerusalem mm -hmm. to Antioch. What did they say about prophets? <laughs> <laughs> they never stayed at the church. <laughs> prophets do not stay <laughs> at the church. Yes. They go where God sent them. Yes. They leave the church alone. Yes. They come back when they have a message to <laughs> yes. the church yes. and they go. They go. Mm. Start from verse 25. Mm. Then departed Barnabas to Tarsus for to seek Saul. Then Barnabas left to go to Tarsus looking for Paul. Mm -hmm. And when he had found him, he brought him unto Antioch. Barnabas brought Paul to Antioch. And it came to pass that a whole year they assembled themselves with the church. And Paul and Barnabas were in the church. Mm -hmm. Paul was an apostle. Mm -hmm. Barnabas was an apostle. Mm -hmm. And what was Paul and Barnabas doing in the church? Mm -hmm. And taught much people. They were not prophesying. Mm -hmm. Because the commandment that was given to the apostles mm -hmm. was not to prophesy. Yes. Actually, there is no scripture mm -hmm. that says, go therefore and prophesy. <laughs> no. Akuna <laughs> vesio. <laughs> Huh? <laughs> There's no scripture where Jesus says, Go therefore and prophesy <laughs> to all the people, telling them their ID numbers. <laughs> you see? Yes. Uh, yeah. Because our Lord said in Matthew 27, All power is given unto me. Mm. In heaven and in earth. Mm -hmm. Then he said, Go ye therefore and teach all nations. Mm. That's so, me, the 28. Yes. Mm. So, uh, from anyway, verse number from verse 18. From verse, yeah. verse number 18. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, so this challenge and both they, they like the word power. Yes. And they think all power is given unto me. Jesus is said, All power, <laughs> power is given unto me. Mm. Yes. And then he says, Go ye therefore. Yes. And teach all nations. Yes. Mm. Baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, yes. and of the Holy Spirit. Yes. Teaching them to observe yes. all things. Yes. So there is a double emphasis. Yes. Go and teach. Yes. Go and teach. teach. Yes. In Mark 16, 15, he yes. said, Go in yes. therefore yes. and preach, preach the gospel to all creation. Yes. Preach. Yes. commission. Yes. Yes. There is no commission to prophesy. Chesa <laughs> Totu kunyepa. Yes. Kunyepa mwara anambo vila katuma wana kuporofita. New Testament muno. Yes. Vakanga vachito tunga kuporofita veku Old Testament. Vaive ni chinangwa che kutawura sheku ya kwa jeso. Yes. Saka jesa chitawura kutuwa porofita eva waka pera. Yes. Mune vesi mbaiberi. Mm -hmm. Ino utawura watu kutunga kuwa porofita kwa kapera. Mm -hmm. Vesi iyo ino nzi Matthew 11. Mm -hmm. yes. Vesi number 13. Yes. It says the Old Testament prophetic commission mm -hmm. ends with John. Yes. Yes. 
For all the prophets and the law prophesied until John. Prophesied until John. Yes. Do you want another scripture that says the same thing? Mm -hmm. Here in Ziklag, we have no culture of establishing doctrine from a single scripture. Mm -hmm. We are better than that. Yes. yes. Hebrews 1, 1 and God, 2. who at sundry times and in diverse manner spake in time past unto the fathers. Again. Again, God who at sundry times and God, in diverse who manners, at sundry times and in diverse manners, spake in time past unto the fathers, no, no, the no, prophets. no, God spake in time past, in time present, and in time future <laughs> by the prophets, spake in time past, by God the prophets. spoke by the prophets in, in time, time past, past. yes. Nguwa zaita uruwa na mwari kuma zibaba, neva profita. Deze kare. Kudarika kukuriva kutunguwa yu waka darika. Mwari hacha taura kuma zibaba, neva profita. Ila ya kutu mwarano tumaba profita, kuno announcer shudu wa zaitika, yaka darika. So what is God doing now, verse 2? As in these last days, spoken unto us by his son whom he has appointed heir of all things, by whom also he made the worlds. So nowadays, God mm. speaks by his son. son. Yes. yes. Whenever God wants to speak, he talks about Jesus Christ. Yes. That's when you hear God speaking mm -hmm. by his son. Yes. yes. So God replaced the prophets with his son. Son. Saka marindia aguti, manakuma nongu ndia aguta uramazwana. Yes. Kuna watu mufundi saru kutawura nesha jeso. Diko kutawura kwa mngari. Yes. Apana na mna anoti za jeso chisi yae. Yes. Chitiporo fitai. Kutawura za jeso ndo kutawura kwa mngari. Yes. Mwara kutawura ne mga na kuma na waki. Yes. And then why the audience is changed again. Yes. Yes. The Bible says us. Yes. Because the prophetic era. Was, was to, to the fathers, fathers yes. not to our fathers. To, to the Which fathers, fathers so are you talking about? <laughs> when did God speak to the fathers? <laughs> did God to ever speak to our fathers? <laughs> no, 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 no. To the fathers, fathers of, of Israel. Israel. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. The fathers of Israel. You always want to include yourself, Pastor. What's your problem? <laughs> Because <laughs> I, I slip of the tongue. When I said of the audience, I really knew that the audience had changed. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> no, but it's exciting, right? Yes, yes, it is. So these are the scriptures. Yes. Let's go back to Acts 11. <laughs> I'm still showing you yes. that there's no nothing in the Bible called yes. prophetic ministry. Yes. yes. <laughs> Which means if you are a member of a prophetic church right now, mm -hmm. it's not a church. Yes. It's a shrine. <laughs> It's a franchise. Yeah. It's a fraud franchise. Mm -hmm. Yes. And the, these prophets, they want to associate him, uh, themselves with the Jeremiah's, the Isaiah's. <laughs> but what they don't understand now is First Peter chapter 1 from mm -hmm. verse 9. It says, yes. these prophets, they, they want to associate with themselves. <laughs> they, they knew nothing. They knew nothing about, about the salvation. Of Christ. <laughs> <laughs> But they are running a ministry today. <laughs> they want yes. to. They say I've got Elijah's anointing. Yes. Uh, but that's a deeper issue. Yes. You will fry their minds with this matter now. These ones will never get to this level. Yes. The only simple guys would say amen to you. And if I would answer, would you answer? What 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 would you how can Elijah bring God using Yama? Yes, I don't God must offer something better than what you are talking about. Yes. Sit down, young man. Mm. These are intricate issues. Yes. Exciting. Yes. And I think the point, the whole point is to show you how blessed we are. Yes. We have a very, very lucid generation. Mm. Amen. A generation that is able to pick heresy even when it is marked with so much, uh, so much cosmetics. Mm. Yes. You know, heresy is decorated with a lot of cosmetics mm. to appear like a true gospel. Mm. 
Ma poder wa ne twa here saka o ma. Here si no poder wa ni so ma foundation for for. E twa ju mascara, ju bonds, ju black or pau. Kushikira wa kuna kirwa ne here. Ma mara nga ka china singa ite. Ah. Mkateri la so music ya so inenge chinakidza unogona kuti batwa nemweya. Hapano pa kuti chibvurai Bible amen of God. Tsaka. Ndo pa uno zoti kunaimi. Ano bengere mgoma na. Ndo zvatavinge zvizvo hakutaura. Pa Buddha third kings. Ah ah. So X11. Mm-hmm. 26 yes Barnabas came to to Tarsus yes. looking for Paul yes mm-hmm. Barnabas and Paul are apostles yes mm-hmm. so what happened is in verse 27 mm-hmm. in verse 26 they then Barnabas brought Paul to Antioch mm-hmm. yes and then Paul and believers assembled together yeah. and they taught much people yes mm-hmm. Okay th- that's where the unbelievers called believers Christians. Yes. And this is the basis why Christians today mm. they they love to be called Christians. Mm. They say it's there in the Bible. Mm. Yeah. But this one is a lot uh, embarrassing level of naivety and foolishness. Yes. We can't dignify it with a response today. <laughs> Let's focus on the issue of prophets. Yes. I'm citing this scripture to show you Prophets are not allowed yes. to have a congregation. Yes. Mm-hmm. Verse 27. Barnabas and Paul are in the church. Yes. Mm-hmm. They are not prophesying. Yes. Mm-hmm. They are teaching the word of God. Yes. What who came to the church? Mm-hmm. And in these days came prophets from Jerusalem unto Antioch. I'm sure they started a new church. Mm-hmm. And yes. and there stood up one of them named Agabus. Now now uh, before you go there you are an elder. Yeah. <laughs> Tell us because believers might get confused. Yes. Mm-hmm. Prophets were coming where? Mm-hmm. They were coming to uh, Apostle Paul and Barnabas and the believers who were. They were coming to the, the church. Yes. yes. They were coming to the Antioch church. church. Yes. Mm-hmm. The Bible is clear, Elder. Yes. Verse twenty-six. The church assembled mm-hmm. yes. together, yes. and the apostles taught the word mm-hmm. yes. at Antioch. Antioch. Yes. First 27 says the prophets now mm-hmm. yes. came from yes. Jerusalem. Yes. We know there was a church at Jerusalem. Yes. Mm-hmm. So prophets are traveling yes. from another church yes. to another, another church. church. Yes. Do they have a congregation yes. themselves yes. the prophets? They don't no. have. <laughs> the Jerusalem church yes. was in the hands of apostles. Mm. Yes. Peter was the leader there. Yes. You can find it in Galatians chapter 2 yes. from verse number 6 to 11. Yes. We don't have to read it. Mm-hmm. The prophets are leaving the Jerusalem church yes. which is in the hands of the apostles. Yes. And the prophets are coming to Antioch yes. church yes. which is also in the hands of, of the apostles. apostles. Yes. Apostles are not prophesying. Mm-hmm. They are teaching in the church. Yes. So what happened in verse 28 when, when these prophets arrived? And there stood up one of them named Agabus. One of these prophets named Agabus mm. stood up and he started preaching the whole day. Mm-hmm. And signified by the spirit that there should be a great death, a great drought mm-hmm. throughout all the world. Mm-hmm. Agabus preached. He prophesied. Agabus <laughs> did not preach. <laughs> he prophesied. Actually, Agabus was not in, on the pulpit. Mm-hmm. He was in the chairs. Agabus anga ari kusiri kumberi kwe church. Pastor. Shataka itaye zvipana apa. Eh. Eh pari kunzi tatiri kupari dzataka mira. Tichitorova zvedu shoko richibatu kwari chirohwa. Tichidzidzisa sei zvadwa chikomborerwa. Agabus ari mumabenju. Ari mporovita. Yes. Asina chikwangwa ari chakanyoresa asina kupemwa msoro asina bhutsi nekumberi kunenge bemba inopenya kunge shato asina kupfeka suit ye white agabas aninga asina ma bodyguards mchech achitaura zvinyoro nyoro achitaura zvano inting akawana kubva ku Nigeria kwete agabas atuye ne bible rake ne man notes kuzodzidza shokora mwana When Agabus arrives at the church yes. he doesn't even ask when is he going to get time mm. to come and share something on the pulpit mm. 
Pa program ye church agabasa hapo. Yes. The program of the church has Paul and Barnabas yeah. taking turns yeah. to load the congregation yes. with the sound doctrine. Yeah. Let's open scriptures. Yes. Let's allege yes. concerning Christ. Yes. Amen. That's the job yes. of the preacher, mm -hmm. the custodian of the church. Yes. Agabus is a freelancer mm -hmm. with his fellow prophets. You may find him at Antioch, yeah. you may find him at Deb, you can find him at Philippi, you can find him at Jerusalem. Amen. Wherever God sends Agabus with a message, mm -hmm. Agabus goes. Mm -hmm. The church is not stranded Amen. or starved of sound doctrine. Yes. Agabus left us, we are stranded. We have no men of God in these days, never. Agabus prophesied, yes. but not from the pulpit. He stood yes. up yes. in the midst of the congregation yes. and said, I see a great drought coming to address, to affect the whole world. Yes. And the drought came yes. in the days of Claudius Caesar, mm -hmm. yes. which means Agabus prophecy came to pass. Yes. And based on Agabus prophecy, the church resolved to prepare to help Jerusalem believers who were likely going to be affected the most yes. by the drought prophesied by Agabus. Mm -hmm. Verse 29. Mm -hmm. Then the disciples, every man according to his ability, determined to send relief unto the brethren which dwelt in Judea. That's Agabus mm -hmm. for you. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yes. Yo, yes. Agabus. Yes. Yato pera, awana Agabus foot. Yes. Kushkawashka ku Acts chapter 21 verse 7. Mm -hmm. That's where you find Agabus again. Yes. Uh, and when we had finished our course from Tyre, mm -hmm. we came to Ptolemais and saluted the brethren and abode with them one day. And the next day, we that were of Paul's company departed. Where were you going? And came unto Caesarea. You came to Caesarea. And we entered into the house of Philip. You the entered evangelist. into the house of Philip the evangelist. Who, whose house was it? Which was one of the seven. And I bought Pas with him. Pastor. It was the house Who of Philip. Who was Philip? Philip was an evangelist. Philip was a prophet. Mm -hmm. An evangelist. evangelist. So they didn't enter into the house of a prophet. No. no. The apostles. Mm -hmm. When they are doing a missionary job, yes. they associate with evangelists. evangelists. Yes. Because yes. those are preachers of the word. Yes. Amen. Instead of going into Agabus's house, mm -hmm. they went to an evangelist's <laughs> house. Yes. yes. And, and the word seven is referring to those appointed to be mm -hmm. deacons by Peter instruction in Acts chapter 6. Yes. So we stayed with an evangelist. Mm -hmm. What happened in Philip's house, Luke tell us? And the same man had four daughters. Philip the evangelist yes. had four daughters. Yes. Virgins. They were also virgins. Which did prophesy. Huh? <laughs> These daughters prophesied. Yes. Elder. Yes. But the, 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 the men, the, the, the activities of the church mm -hmm. were not in the four daughters' hands. Yes. Yes. They were in the hands of Philip, mm -hmm. their father. Yes. yes. You understand? Yes. But let me just pause for a moment mm -hmm. and ask you this question. Mm -hmm. The evangelist is a father to prophetesses. Prophetess. Mm -hmm. How does that sound to you? Mm -hmm. How then can a pastor graduate into a prophet <laughs> when evangelists can give birth to prophets? Kanamvangera chigona kuzvara vaporofita. Tobva taita muna hinzi pastor makandiwa. After 4 years over zoti nda kunzi prophet. Clearly the scripture emphasizes the evangelical, evangelical ministry, ministry to be more important oh, to the yes. church yes. Yes. than the prophetic ministry. Yes. That's, That's why the church the needed one evangelist mm -hmm. yes. and four prophets. They don't, <laughs> even if they are hundred, they don't change much. Yes. They don't prophesy every day. Hey. Yes. Amen. Mm. Yes. Right now, Makandiwa is leading past. There are pastors in Makandiwa's church Being led by <laughs> who are led by, by a prophet. prophet. That one is now a, a, a matter of, uh, uh, it's is now aggravated in sanity. Yes. When a prophet says, these are my pastors, mm -hmm. I saw Bushiri pointing to some dandies in his church. Mm -hmm. He says, all oh, these are my, my pastors. pastors. And I said, what? Mm -hmm. 
What are these guys smoking? <laughs> Where have you ever seen a prophet with the pastors under him? Na magambo zvona. Imiwa no tenda magambo zvinzwa. Kuti mprofita ane ta mapasta anonzi mapasta ake. Pastor ano submit akupfugamira mprofita. That's an obscenity. Yes. Mashura Uyo mvangere ane ma prophet ake fo. Ana ake. Zvekuti dai zvezvi Filipa achiti vasikana vandoma mazi baba wangu. Ndiri spiritual son. Nevasikana vari fo. Amazing stuff. Very much amazing. Believe us this is what we are showing him. Yes. There is no way a man who understands something about God yes. could attend a church where pastors are junior to a prophet. Mm. It's a Dracula. It's a, a masquerade. Yes. It's, it's, a, it's a tokoloshi. It's not there in the scripture. Yes. If, if you are a pastor right now and you bow down to a prophet, you are an idiot. Mm. You are very confused. Mm. But above all, oh, you are embarrassing. Yes. Uno nyadzisa. So, believers, 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 did you know that the word shepherd means pastor? When our Lord said, I am the good shepherd. Mm. Yes. Jesus was saying he was a good pastor. pastor. Yes. The word pastor and the word shepherd, they mean the same thing. Mm. Feeding the sheep, nourishing the sheep, taking care of the sheep. So Jesus is a pastor. John is a prophet. Mm -hmm. John the Baptist is a prophet. A prophet yes. Yes. Let us find out who can bow down to who. Between a pastor and a prophet. And that John was a prophet is not actually my idea. Mm -hmm. The Bible says it in Matthew chapter 11, verse 9. Mm -hmm. The Lord was asking about John. Yes. He said, but When you went out to the river, mm -hmm. did you go out to see a prophet? Mm -hmm. And he then says, Yea, I say yeah. unto you. More, more than, than a prophet. A prophet. Yes. So according to the Lord Jesus, mm -hmm. John was, was more, more than, than a prophet. prophet. Yes. Huh? Pastor? Yes. Murugone, Rebuti. Mishumira afana zama gwaru. Because Tegu na kungo veringa Matthew chapter 11. Toti ngatita ngirepa verse 6. Panonzi. Wakatanga kupari zirava nupa misoropa John. Anditika. Aka vazo nzi iye. Aka tipa verse ya... A seven. Ko pa makanga maenda kurenge, makanga maenda kunone. Kano tego na tangira pa verse eighteen. Pa itaro John akawya chijira chinua. Wagati amen glatonas. Kana uti tego na tangira pa verse nineteen. Pano zvoka tanga kupari zira magute korazin. E bedsai dani kape naomi. Yes. Andizi. Yes. Am I? I love this script. Saka patangunanga pa verse 9 chete. Nekuti do patati shida paano taura kuti John wakangari mporofita. Kurota apostu vani kivachizi wa yese metu chapter 11. Yese, lezi ya ushika pa ino perira. Pa yes, yes. Paninge pa ishtaru wanawe kuti mnu wana zororo remu ya yenyo. Yes. Right. Saka John mporofita Jason di past. John 10, mm -hmm. verse 11. Mm -hmm. I am the good shepherd. Yes. Jesus is a pastor. Mm -hmm. John is a prophet. Yes. Let's look into the scripture mm -hmm. and find out who is greater. greater. Can a prophet have pastors under him? In which case, Jesus was supposed to say, John is my spiritual father. <laughs> John is my, <laughs> my papa. Saka Jesus, I'm going to say, Ma pasta angwe sa 
Ese nana Peter nana Andrew. Ama post to bafana wala basa. Uyu ndi anda mira ko saka wana but bafana wangu vese. Inini munondi ziva ndi nichibaba. Dini spiritual father. Plus mfana yaka zvarwa manje manje akatanga manje manje ndi akatanga kudhara. So kuti Judiare senda kari nyika mvura. Hapana anu ndi tsana ro zvinhu zvozikana. Saka ma pastor amakandiwa anototi kuna makandiwa my leader my elder mm. they knew down before a prophet mm -hmm. which is actually an obscenity mm -hmm. yeah. a pastor is greater in responsibility yes. and in authority to a prophet mm -hmm. an evangelist is greater mm -hmm. in responsibility and in authority yes. to a prophet yes. yes this is why Paul knew that Agabus was a prophet mm -hmm. and yet he never sent Agabus to take care of any assembly okay. in yes. the Bible. Yes. Yes. We can look at Timothy mm -hmm. in 1 Timothy chapter 1 verse 3 mm -hmm. and realize that Paul is telling Timothy as a teacher mm -hmm. and evangelist. Mm -hmm. He says to Timothy, I yes, asked I you, you to yes. abide still at Ephesus yes. when, when I, I went into, into Macedonia. Macedonia. So Paul as an apostle yes. is going to Macedonia. Mm -hmm. yes. He wants to find who can I live at the church of Ephesus. Yes. He knows that there are many prophets. Mm -hmm. Actually, if you are to go to Acts 13, mm -hmm. you realize that the prophets mentioned in Acts 11, 27, 26, 27, mm -hmm. they included the uh, Manayen and and and, and mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, those are the other prophets which <laughs> came from from Jerusalem. Yes. You want to read it? <laughs> now they were in the church that was at Antioch. Certain prophets and teachers is Barnabas, Barnabas and Simeon. Simeon. That was called Niger. Yes. And Lucius of Cyrene. And Manain. And Manain. Wow. Which had been brought up with the road the Tetra. <laughs> Saka, it was very fast out. It was <laughs> Our prophet, our Agabas Angarega. Acts 11 is clear. Yes. Many prophets yes. came from Jerusalem, mm -hmm. but then they only mentioned Agabas. Mm -hmm. But you must know that Manaen was a prophet, yes. and, and Simeon, yeah. which was also called Niger, yes. was also a prophet, mm -hmm. and Lucius yes. of Cyrene was a teacher mm -hmm. of the word of God. Mm -hmm. yes. You understand? Mm -hmm. Yes. So Paul wants to leave someone at Ephesus Church. Mm -hmm. He doesn't ask as, as Niger. Mm -hmm. He doesn't ask Manai, yeah, yeah. which are prophets. Yeah. He doesn't ask Agabus. Agabus. Yes. Who does he ask? Mm -hmm. According to First Timothy 1 3, he asked Timothy. Timothy. Yes. When you go to Titus chapter 1, mm -hmm. yes. huh? <laughs> verse number 3 and 4 and 5. Yes. But he actually that, talked about leaving Titus at Crete yes. because Titus was a pastor. Yes. So as far as taking care of the sheep, mm -hmm. you can actually send an evangelist. Yes. You can send a pastor. Yes. You can send a teacher. Yes. You can't send a prophet. No, you no. can't. We thought there were no prophets in the New Testament <laughs> church in the days of Paul. It's there in the Bible. Yeah, it's there. We have Agabus. Yeah. He was a prophet. Yeah. We have the four daughters of That's Philip. Yes. They were prophetesses. Mm -hmm. We have uh, Niger. He was a prophet. Yeah. We have Manaim. Manaim. Yes. They were prophets. Yeah. And yet... They never had a church. They, they never <laughs> they had never a church in, in, in charge of them. <laughs> yes. Under their charge. Yes. yes. So, what were we reading? Mm -hmm. We were reading Acts 11. Yes. Uh, did, did we finish it? We didn't finish it. We wanted <laughs> yeah. to find out. Oh, yeah. I think we finished it. We, finished we then it. went to Exit 21. 21. Yes. And yes. we saw that there were four prophet girls yes. in the house of Philip the Evangelist. Yes. The church was not in the hands of the prophets. No. They were, the church was in the hands of an evangelist. Yes. The evangelist mm -hmm. was m m more in charge than the prophets. Yes. Actually, the evangelist was a father yes. to the prophets. Yes. It wasn't by coincidence. No, it, was. it was by God's design. Yes. We now wanted to check on the issue of our Lord Jesus. Yes, we were yes. talking about the prophets. Yes. 
leading, being top church leaders, yes. and under prophets, there are pastors there. Mm -hmm. huh? and, yes. And also the aspect of John the Baptist John as the a Baptist. prophet. Yes, I know. And there are other churches where the prophet is the supreme leader in the church. Yes. Mm -hmm. And under him, there are pastors and apostles. We have a church with an apostle <laughs> who kneels down to a prophet. Inengi yawa Acts 11 re-written. Utakashuka pa Antioch, pa chupari chukwane wa porofita. Saka mposto rakato zopua mkano utaura ipapo. Anga ene masho kwe kuzi. So Jesus is a pastor. John is a prophet. Who is greater? Let us ask John the Baptist. Yes. John 3.25. John 3.25. Then there arose a question between some of John, John's disciples and the Jews about purifying. And they came unto John and said unto him, Rabbi, he that was with thee beyond Jordan, to whom thou bearest witness, behold, the same baptizes, and all men come to him. So there are people complaining to John. Mm -hmm. Yes. We know that you baptized that guy called Jesus. Yes. But now the problem is this guy is starting to baptize just like you do. Mm -hmm. Yes. And our problem is now more people are following Jesus mm -hmm. instead of following you. Yes. They thought that John was greater than Jesus. Mm -hmm. yes. They thought that the prophet mm -hmm. was greater than the pastor. Yes. yes. Let's see if John said, I'll call him mm. and put him to order. Yes. Yes. He's an ungrateful ingrate. Mm -hmm. I baptized him here and now he's turning against me to hate my ministry. Yes. That guy must be stopped before we lose more members from our church. Mm -hmm. What did John say in verse 27? John answered and said, a man can receive nothing except it be given him from heaven. Yes. You yourselves bear me witness that I said, I am not the Christ, but that I am sent before him. Verse 30. He must increase. He must increase. But I must decrease. We saved the time. Yes. yes. Because the issue of the bridegroom and the bride could take us time. Yes. It's not relevant to this matter, mm -hmm. which is mentioned in verse 22 and 29. Yes. yes. But John says concerning Christ, mm -hmm. Christ the pastor mm -hmm. must, great, must be greater. Yes. He must increase. Mm -hmm. And I must, must decrease. decrease. Yes. yes. So the relationship between the prophet and the, the pastor, pastor is that the prophet must, must decrease, decrease. Yes. Yes. the pastor must increase. Amen. Amen. That yes. was their relationship. Yes. yes. And so John called Jesus master. Mm -hmm. John called Jesus Lord. Yes. Because Jesus and John were not equal. Mm -hmm. Even if we are to consider that, of course, Jesus had a greater responsibility. He was a testator. Mm -hmm. He was a savior. But outside those our commitments. Yes. His ministerial responsibility as a pastor mm -hmm. was greater than John's ministry. Yes. yes. You understand? Mm -hmm. Yes. So according to the Bible, a pastor is more senior in the hierarchy of the church than a prophet. Mm -hmm. Yes. But according to the charlatans, <laughs> a prophet can lead pastors. <laughs> Kupi ko, kwa mne mchilidu, kwa mchienda. Kone maa kugana, kwa sekuru, kwa sekuru, kwa watengu. Finally, let's read Acts chapter 8. We just want to show you that there was a, an evangelist yes. who also preached from Isaiah, uh, the book of Isaiah. Yes. When he read Isaiah, mm -hmm. a proper commissioned and genuine evangelist mm -hmm. did not come up with rogue and bogus interpretations. No. Yes. Like describing business people, business opportunities, or politicians. Mm -hmm. A prophet spoke about politicians mm -hmm. when he read Isaiah 45. Mm -hmm. He said, Cyrus is the anointed one. He was addressing politicians and so 
politicians can also be described as the anointed ones of God. Mm-hmm. Makandiwa described uh, uh, Mr. Nangagwa as the anointed one of God, just mm-hmm. like Cyrus mentioned in Isaiah 45. Mm-hmm. So we said the interpretation of the two men mm-hmm. are actually embarrassingly uh, meaning, uh, shallow, hollow, and meaningless. Yes. The man is an empty soul with a very garrulous mouth. Mm-hmm. He doesn't know a thing about sound doctrine. Yes. Acts chapter 8. This is now an evangelist. Mm-hmm. Let's find out what he did to the Ethiopian eunuch, verse 34. And the eunuch answered Philip and said... The eunuch had read Isaiah 53 from verse 7. Mm-hmm. So the scripture in question is, uh, is Isaiah 53. Mm-hmm. The point we are making is... What is the right interpretation? Yes. When we read Isaiah, mm-hmm. a prophet says, well, when we find an anointed king there, <laughs> we must apply it in our own presidents. Mm-hmm. It's the same thing. Mm-hmm. But he, a minister of finance from Ethiopia, yes. is reading the same book that yes. Makandiwa read. Yes. He read Isaiah. Yes. Yes. And he's asking the, the, the seasoned evangelist, yes. let's ask the, the eunuch what was his question to Philip. I pray thee, of whom speaks the prophet this, of himself or of some other man? The eunuch said, Isaiah made a prophecy. Yes. Tell me, Philip, yes. you are the preacher. Yes. Who was Isaiah talking about? Yes. Was Isaiah talking about himself? Yes. Or Isaiah was talking about some other man? Yes. If Philip was an empty soul, just like Emmanuel Makandiwa, Philip could have said, <laughs> Isaiah was talking about myself. <laughs> oh, Isaiah was talking about you. Yes. Oh, Isaiah was talking about Candace, mm-hmm. the queen of Ethiopia. Mm-hmm. She, is, she is the anointed one of God. <laughs> <laughs> what did Philip mm-hmm. say to this question? Then Philip opened his mouth and began at the same scripture and preached unto him Jesus. Amen. He did in the preach than He preached, he preached Jesus. Jesus. From the book of Isaiah, yes. Philip preached Jesus. Yes. yes. Makandiwa opened the same book <laughs> and discovered than from that book. Mm-hmm. He said, Cyrus, the anointed one, mm-hmm. it means than president yes. and first secretary. Yes. He said, there's nothing wrong with actually bringing politicians to church God actually said he anointed a a Gentile pagan king of Persia. So it's there in the Bible. That the Jews must come out of captivity. He was not the leader of the Jews. Did not use the leader of the Jews. Cyrus said when the Jews give them money, give them food. Give them material to go and build. Darius and when Darius read this, he also wrote a letter to Cyrus. That whoever contracts deliverance. deliverance. This is being done by non-believers so that the church Ushakapata wakakotsira mwari vapinda na politics vari kushandisa ma politicians iwo God is also using politicians wake up sit down mungature nzimbudzenyu So you might not like me and say no Apostle, maybe you hate this guy, mm-hmm. but could there be something wrong with his interpretation? Those are the scriptures. Yes. Same book, same application. Mm-hmm. The Bible says something in Isaiah. Yes. Who was it talking about? The answer is Christ Jesus. Yes. He is the object and the subject of scripture yes. as concerning the Tanaka Bible. It's all about Jesus Christ. Yes. When a man of God opens the scripture and discovers himself, he is running amok. He has lost his mental balance. Mm-hmm. But where is this problem emanating from? One area. Bogus ministries. Yes. That are not certified by scripture. Amen. As we sit here right now, 
There is no prophet in the Bible that these charlatans can say, my ministry is like that prophet in the Bible. Not even one. Yes. We have already proven it. Yes. So, as an evangelist, he has a better understanding of the gospel than the prophets. Mm. And that is not surprising. Mm -hmm. Because evangelists are preachers of sound doctrine. Yes. Prophets are not preachers. Yes. Prophets are not preachers. Yes. Prophets do not preach. Yes, mm -hmm. they do not. They, they announce. Like, mm. Prophets announce. Yes. They announce the voice of God. Yes. Yes. When God makes an utterance, mm. the prophets stand up to share the mind of God. Yes. And they sit down. Yes. This is why the Bible says they were traveling Mm -hmm. Whenever they had a message, they would travel. travel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But they were not involved in the actual work of the ministry yes. Yes. happening at Antioch. Yes. Well, before we do a tete a tete, we have a believer on the Zoom. I want to find out, and we also hope that he's got a question concerning this matter of prophets. If you are attending a church run by a prophet, mm. you are not yet born again. Yes. You are not even in a church. Yes. You are in a shrine. <laughs> yes. You are in a, a, a sports betting shop. Yes. Yes. This is why they have no time to, to dwell enough in the scriptures. Mm. They are so hyped into these so-called issues to do with the demonstration of power, casting out of demons, mm. and giving fake prophecies. You don't find them settled in the scriptures yes. because they are empty as concerning sound doctrine. God never gi gi gave any sound doctrine to prophets. Prophets are not custodians of sound doctrine. <laughs> there is not such a scripture in the Bible. Yes. It's a bogus ministry. I am not actually asking you to come to our church. <laughs> Even if you go to a false church with a false pastor, it's better mm. than to be in a church run by a prophet. Storinani kuparitiri wane mana fake pastor. Panikuwe nda kuinonzi church. Asi chitunga miru wana prophet. Wanyanya kurasika. <laughs> Pastor. Amai. Wanyanya kurasika. Yes. Okay. No zamu na arugun za arugun da kwa chuota. Asa kwira baziri siri wa arugun da mondoro. Ari nani. Panari mutrakta ya dautori mamumunda. Haipindeka na mutara macho chaimu. Haipumizwe. Ino nzi kifambira msaidi merod. Unotukua zira rod. Hausi vie ku. Uri trakita. A tractor is not a vie ku. A tractor is an earth moving machine. It's a plant equipment. The job of a tractor is to perform hard work, hard tasks on the earth. Digging, excavations, and plowing. Yes. Saka. Tikanzi kwa kuturi mbazi rikuenda mondoro, yu oche nda kuchinoi, kana kwa chota. Tinoti buruka mbazi roro, utuwa geli rikuenda kwa chota. Unungori pambari papa, jineze, unungori sofu nza makondakta, mbazi kwa chota, ni wani kwa papi. Chinoi ya kuturi mtrakta, yu oche nda kuenda kwa chota, haibude manji. Haibude. Kwa trakta mroda, ito di kuone kwa. Amzadi mamozo wamele tindaka sofa teka trakta anda yenda kumarondera. Haipinde mlisti rima vehicles. Yes. Equipment. Yes. Saka, kano chipinda cheche ma profita. Mmm, ajwa nyanya. Mmm. Enda ako kumethodisti, jiri nani. Yeah. Enda kusawoveshe nami, jitori nani. Kuno zowa ni kwa nevangere chokwadi, uri mkereke ya kara sikasi. Irgura sika pa substance asi ine jimge ozwa ino nonga nonga pa strike cha HH. Andi drugu zona. Let's hear the believer that we have on the uh, on the Zoom platform. Welcome believer to our service. Tell us, uh, identify yourself and let us know what you have to share with us concerning the issue of prophetic ministries. 
We say it's a ghost. Magadi mama, magadi ni mama irengwe na Elder Jeremiah. As itara ngundi noitwa Tinashe Magusha Olive Section Pretoria Assembly. Wonderful, wonderful. You are in Pretoria Assembly, South Africa Territory. We welcome yeah. you. We thank God for you. Uh, before you say yes, everything uh, you want to say, we, we share with us. Which shrine did you, were you rescued from? <laughs> yes, in Indaganga Nijimbopinda, Kushirani, I the Apostolic fight me, Fighting Mission of Africa. Yakasiana Ia Yana Maziri. But yeah, in the Yumo Fighting Mission of Africa, Yaganga Itungamiru, and eh, Muruma in the same way, and yeah, right, Anga, Akazo, Akazo, Sia, Akazo, Tangaku, Wilza, Naipapo, Sakaganga, Futi Fighting Mission. Yeah, they always fight where there is a cash cow, people fight because of money. Mm -hmm. This is the sign that they are not after saving the sheep, they are after feeding themselves. Yes. Mm -hmm. If you look at all these churches that are splitting, they are not splitting on doctrinal differences. No. Yes. It's about an opportunity to get the money. Yes. Tell us now, what is your take on what we have covered so far? Ah, uh, in interview, was a Ganaka Mamani that she could see the upper Tato Ziza could see ma, ma prophets a parize. We say she noted and the check put him apostles. Do I not be a notopor of it? Ano pariza, then cupor of it. Saga and Angai Stonaki was a Mundiga to Bandavra Revelation nineteen. Which means it. Saka was chapter two from verse forty two. They continued uh, steadfast in the apostles' doctrine and fellowship and breaking of bread in the prayers. Saka that continue steadfast in the in the in the prophets do not have doctrine. Mm. The, the scripture could have said they yes. continued steadfastly in the prophets doctrine. Mm. There is nothing. There is nothing like yes. that. Yes. <laughs> So, saga, what, saga, what would you da, say da, if da, you meet those? Bamba, sorry, what would you say if you meet those who are attending churches led by prophets? Uh, if if I meet them, what I can say is I I can just open them uh, for the book of Acts eleven as as you just open it, but. Uh, only Agabus, what he has to say is uh, about the the hunger. But now, as we see, uh, concerning what he prophesied about, there there is no eternal life uh, about hunger that he prophesied. Was if we open also First Corinthians chapter six, verse thirteen, it says, uh, "Food for the belly and the belly for food," and God is going to destroy both. So. He, he, Testimony, prophecy, our inigation go perra padumbu, inigation perra pasunus, recurrently, Ipa as an eternal value. So, Nanchi was a Ganaga, Mama, but the footing the Kasanga and Muna, Gada, and Rokasakumu for first Corinthians chapter thirteen, first ten. Was the Apostle Paul, Avanuta, uh, as a master build, I have laid a foundation. Was that foundation, Yakanga Ito? Yaka is to a laid then by by an apostle. We don't have any 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 uh, prophet who laid a foundation. And also for, uh, Ephesians four verse eleven, it in our right, he gave some apostles, some uh, evangelists, some pastors for the perfection of the of the church of the saints, which means. Uh, Apopakanzi, uh, prophets, uh, apostles, and prophets, it's the same thing. Apostles, they are apostles and prophets. Those are the same thing. 
kuna Revelation chapter 19 verse 10 but that was akana ka nepanda mbovura futi first uh, Corinthians chapter I think it's chapter 11 ushito ona kuti apostle is the one who was giving order in the church kuti kana muchiprofita imbopana naye mukana wangu wataure ari kutopa order kuma 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 profita so tinototi nyaso kuona kuti hapana doctrine no mufome wa ni 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 profita ah uh, that is that was my take apostle thank you very much you have done a very excellent thing <laughs> even though you are still struggling <laughs> to cite proper scriptures <laughs> but the scripture you wanted to share with us is actually first corinthians <laughs> Chapter number 14, verse 23. Mm-hmm. What does it say? Yes. It says, it's, if it's, therefore yes, the if, whole church become together into one place and all speak with the tongues, mm-hmm. and there come in those that are unlearned or unbelievers, mm-hmm. will they not say that you are mad? But if all prophesy, when there come in one that believes not, or one unlearned, he is convinced of all. He is judged of all. Verse number 29. Let the prophets speak two or three and let the other judge. You see, mm-hmm. this is the, the charge you were talking about. Yes. Mm-hmm. An apostle is writing a letter to the church. Mm-hmm. Yes. And he's saying, the prophets which are at Corinth mm-hmm. must follow these instructions. Yes. yes. We don't want the whole church to be <laughs> to be covered with the prophetic activities. Mm. Yes. Not more than three prophets yes. should speak at once. Mm. Yes. And not more than three believers mm. should speak with the tongues at once mm-hmm. in the church. Yes. And yet this instruction mm-hmm. is going to the church congregation mm-hmm. and not to those who are leading the church yes. to, to observe those teachings yes. while the others are just watching. Mm-hmm. So it is clear, my dear, that the apostles gave order mm-hmm. to how prophets conducted their work. Yes. And yet these prophets did not have a specific function in the church. They were just believers gifted with the gift of prophecy. Mm -hmm. Ordinary children of God. So if Magaya had a true gift of prophecy, which he doesn't, he should be a member of a church Mm. who only stands up to share his prophecy Mm. when God has revealed something to him. He should not be holding a microphone walking up and down Mm. at the pulpit area. Mm -hmm. That's what is happening. In First Corinthians chapter fourteen, mm-hmm. an apostle telling prophets mm-hmm. how to do their work. Yes. Mm-hmm. What then should be the situation when you come into a church where the leader of that church is a is a prophet, and he has apostles working under him? <laughs> Can those apostles give orders to that prophet? Mm-hmm. Aisha. First Corinthians fourteen verse thirty seven. It says, if any man think himself to be a prophet or a spiritual, <laughs> let him acknowledge that the things that I write unto you are the commandments of the Lord. You see? <laughs> <laughs> now, First Corinthians, thank you, Elder, for citing that one. It's actually a commandment from the Lord yes. to yes. govern Strong. the church. Yes. But it's coming to the church through an yes. apostle. Yes. And yet there are prophets in the church. <laughs> yes. Because these are doctrinal issues. Yes. They are addressed by apostles. Yes. They are doctrinal authorities mm-hmm. in the house of God. Yes. I want us to read verse number 8 of First Corinthians 13. It's a beautiful scripture. Yes. It tells us what we're saying. Mm-hmm. Prophecy has no eternal value. Yes. It is temporary in nature. Mm-hmm. That's what Apostle Paul says, yes. Charity never fails. Charity, it means love. Mm. Love never fails. But whether there be prophecies, prophecies, they shall fail. They shall fail. Whether there be tongues, yes, they shall cease. Yes. Whether there be knowledge, yes, it shall vanish away. Let's end there. Yes. <laughs> prophecies shall <laughs> fail. fail. Yes. yes. The Bible does not say prophecy shall end. Mm-mm. It actually <laughs> says fail. fail. Yes. Which means when Jesus comes to judge mankind, mm. 
prophecy shall fail mm -hmm. to vindicate you mm -hmm. in the presence of the Lord. Amen. Highlight the word, the, the, the phrase, prophecy shall okay. fail. Prophecy shall fail to justify you in the day of the Lord's vengeance. Mm -hmm. The word fail in 1 Corinthians 13, 8 mm -hmm. was an interpretation of Matthew chapter 7. Verse 22 and 23. Mm -hmm. Why are you saying prophecy shall fail? Mm -hmm. Yes. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? Ijo. <laughs> and in thy name we have ah, cast out them. devils. Yes. And in thy name done many wonderful works. Yes. And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Mm -hmm. Depart from me. You that work iniquity. Did you see prophecy failing? Yes. Yeah. Many will say in that day, mm -hmm. Jesus, Jesus, mm -hmm. did we not prophesy in, in your, your name? name? Yes. Jesus says, I never knew you. Leave yes. me alone. Yes. Prophecy has failed. Yes. yes. <laughs> but what shall last is the love of God. Yes. Demonstrated through the sacrificial work of Jesus Christ. Yes. Which we can only partake of through the preaching of the gospel. Yes. You understand? Mm -hmm. This is why in 1 Corinthians chapter number 13 verse 8. Mm -hmm. Of all the things mentioned that shall fail, mm -hmm. you will find out that the gospel was not mentioned. Oh, yes. yes. The gospel shall not fail. Yes. Mm -hmm. Prophecy shall fail. fail. Yes. You understand? Mm -hmm. So why would the church conduct a church service and focus on something that is certainly <laughs> going to fail? Why would you attend a church service where the whole service is, is, is committed to prophecy which will fail. Pastor, do you think this, these guys know that prophecy shall fail? <laughs> no, they don't. Yeah, they do. <laughs> they have no clue, am I? <laughs> they thought that a prophet is someone who is very big and they, they wanted that they have exposition. Prophecy is like a break time at school. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> because according to scripture, prophecy exhausts and edifies the church. Yes. It aids you, it, it nourishes you, it strengthens your confidence yes. in the Lord. Yes. Mm -hmm. So when you are in class, they say it's break time. Mm. Go and have some snack. You mm. buy some bread, some sandwich, mm. and a drink or a cup of tea. Yes. What happens if the break time is longer than lecture time mm. or lesson time? The whole day, lesson time is 45 minutes. <laughs> Break time is four hours and a half. <laughs> Would you send your child to such a school? Uh, no. Uh, I don't know this school. I should say break your bus. I should say break your bus. Why would you spend the whole service on, on prophetic issues? <laughs> and yet we all know that prophecies shall fail. fail. Yes. <laughs> so, this is the reason why the Lord said, no, I don't want the whole church to, to be doing prophetic issues the whole day. Yes. Let us focus on substantial issues. Substantive issues are doctrinal issues. Mm -hmm. And the prophets are not gifted in areas of doctrine. Yes. This is why every time they try to preach doctrine, mm -hmm. they get it wrong. They misfire. They end up pushing their own opinions and claiming that it's the position of God. Yes. Amuna doctrine zan. Amuna. Even uka try kukota ma verse. Unungo shinga amonya. Every day. Mm -hmm. Jesus did not die for us to go to heaven. It then means pleasure. <laughs> what Adam lost in the garden is not eternal life. I'm telling you, Adam lost pleasure. <laughs> so now Adam, he's in the physical body. He left heaven. 
before he sinned. He left heaven before he sinned. So you don't talk to me about uh, Jesus came that men might go back to heaven. Jesus did not die that we may go to heaven. That is not the reason why he died. He did not die so that we may go back to heaven. Remember, he came because there was a consequence that man could no longer bear, which was caused by sin. And when man sinned, what he lost was not heaven. When man sinned, what he lost was not heaven. Because he left heaven before he sinned. So Jesus cannot come to reverse sin so that man can find his way back to heaven. Man did not leave heaven because of sin. He left heaven before he sinned. So Adam never lost heaven because of sin. What he lost because of sin was the garden which was in Eden. And Eden means pleasure. So sin made the man to lose pleasure, not heaven, pleasure on earth. And when man had lost pleasure on earth, that's why Jesus had to come and get rid of sin so that pleasure can be recovered again on earth on earth, on earth. An <laughs> eloquent charlatan of not. <laughs> yes. Can you imagine? Yes. Apostle Paul hearing that there's a prophet mm. who is preaching about pleasure, restoration <laughs> of joy. <laughs> uh, do you ever have a believer on the Zoom? Before we do a tete a tete. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> we don't have a believer on the Zoom. Let's do a tete a tete, believers, and come back to the Cyrus genealogy crisis. Yeah. We did something beautiful. Yes. It's just a reflection. Yes. The Lord has blessed us so much. Oh, yes. Look at us. We have an understanding that all these charlatans with all their pomp, with all their popularity, mm -hmm. they are empty. Yes. It's like a car with an empty and a dry tank. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Doesn't matter how much time you crank the ignition key, mm -hmm. it will never start. It won't. There's no fuel in the carburetor. Mm -hmm. Yes. There's no fuel in the injectors. Yes. It will never run. Thank God, Zikla Guide. You actually know that when you see a placard written prophetic so so, you say, That's not a church, don't waste my time. If your cousin sister says, Let's go to my church, ask them who is the leader of your church. If he says his prophet Jeremiah Omoto, say, That's not a church and that's not a prophet. Call me when you have a church, uh, invite me when you actually have a church to go to. I can go with you to a church. This one is not a church. Yes. It's not, it, it doesn't qualify by any stretch of imagination. Uh, we are not actually pursuing an aggressive approach. Yes. It's a rescue operation. Yes. All these years you have been following a prophet, you wasted your time, you wasted your money. It's rather better to go to a false church this one can't even get into a false church. Yes. It's not false. It's a mirage. It's an illusion. It's a ghost. It's a, it's a masquerade. It's a Dracula. It's a mermaid. You only read it in, in folklore books, but go to the river, you'll never find it. Yes. <laughs> it's a legend. <laughs> it's not a, a reality. Hakuna church yakadar. So let's do a tete a tete and come back to the Cyrus genealogy crisis. Don't go. We have a beautiful message today. We have to conclude this one. We have other issues to attend to after today. Mm -hmm. Stay with us.
believers, uh, do we see the amazing grace that we have of having an apostle amongst us? When we see scriptures being opened and <laughs> elder, I was enjoying it when Amai were revealing to us the issue of a ghost prophet today. <laughs> Because they are no longer prophets. <laughs> Where we read from Hebrews chapter 1, that the prophets then, they speak to the Israelites, the fathers. Yes. <laughs> and now to us, he's now speaking through his son. And where we saw, uh, the question was, is Moses a prophet? And yes, he was a prophet, but they thought that the office of a prophet of Moses was above the op office of his priestly duties. And where we were seeing why Moses was, uh, was not uh, seen in the temple, where we see a priest getting into a temple. And Moses, when he got there, he was as a priest <laughs> and he was a testator in his office. He was not a prophet. The priestly office itself was accorded to Aaron, his brother. He would wear the robe of a priest. But Moses himself was a testator. And that testatorial duty was the one which was above his prophet's office. Yes. So the office of a prophet, brethren, we saw it being very much inferior. But today's church, like the office of the prophet, which was then referred to as a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> How do you like it, Elder? <laughs> yes, Pastor. We really thank God for uh, the scriptures that Amai taught us, boss. As you were saying, that these charlatans, mm. uh, in a bid to deny the truth, mm -hmm. they did not understand they thought when Moses was leading the children of Israel, mm -hmm. he was doing it because he was a prophet. prophet. Yes. Mm -hmm. But they did not understand now that... Uh, <laughs> that was an inferior office. It was an inferior office, yes. yes because <laughs> he was doing it as a testator yes. of the Old Testament. Yes. And uh, I like the aspect when Amai had to put John and our Lord side by side. Mm -hmm. uh, our Lord said in John chapter 10, I am the chief, I'm the chief shepherd. shepherd yes. And we understand that being a shepherd mm -hmm. also means being a pastor. Yes. yes. And then we can see now mm -hmm. uh, John himself, was mm -hmm. in Matthew chapter mm -hmm. 11, 13, our yes. Lord said it plainly that John was a prophet. prophet. Yes. yes. And then we will see now what John will be saying. Mm -hmm. Yes. yes. Uh, so we can also read in... Um, Luke chapter 3, mm -hmm. yes. John answered and saying from verse 16, mm -hmm. I indeed baptize you with water, but one mightier than I mm -hmm. cometh. Yes. The largest of whose shoes I am not worthy to unloose. Oh, yes. 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 So the office, John, mm -hmm. the Lord said, John is a prophet. Yes. <laughs> and we understand that our Lord is a shepherd, mm -hmm. a representation of a pastor. Mm -hmm. But John is a prophet saying, I'm not even worthy yes. to unloose. The one that is coming is mightier. So Amai is what's teaching us. We can see that indeed the office mm -hmm. of a pastor is mm -hmm. higher than the office of a prophet. Mm -hmm. uh, as one brother also came and said, the aspect of eternal value yes. is the word will remain, but the prophecies, they shall fail. So indeed it is quite a good teaching, uh, pastor. And these charlatans, they want to appear spiritual so <laughs> that they will steal money from people. So they uh, come and they dress themselves. That is the problem. The main problem that I can see with them today is they don't really know where they are standing. That is why they change these titles mm. depending on Jurugit Samari Mazoyao. Because by just saying I'm a prophet, mm. they want to appear that I know something about you. Because their gospel is about the person they are talking to them. It's not about our Lord. Yes. So if they had come to preach about our Lord, as mm -hmm. we saw in Matthew, in Acts chapter 8, eight yes. uh, evangelist uh, mm -hmm. Philip preaching mm -hmm. about Christ, if mm -hmm. they had that gospel, 
then they will come and talk about Jesus. Mm. But because they want to talk about themselves Themselves. and the believers, Mm. then they will say the office of being a prophet, that is the the (laughs) best area. Yes, It's it's, it's interesting, Elder and Pastor, that Mm. 99% of their messages, they Mm. go about the pastor, the people, the pastor, the people. Mm. They only mention God and Jesus. When they want something from God, mm. yes. God will do this for you. God mm. will, God will. Yes. You barely hear them telling the people what God wants. Yes. Mm. And I was, I was realizing that many pastors and evangelists mm-hmm. started to feel inferior and useless. Mm. That even mm. some went to the mountain. <laughs> Asking God for the prophetic <laughs> gift. Yes. And this is why these charlatans are now convening what they are calling prophetic master class. Mm. Where pastors pay them to be trained to be prophets. Hey, <laughs> Imagine I? a pastor being ah, trained too much. to be a prophet by a prophet. Yes. <laughs> Paying money. And I was thinking, Pastor... Imagine Evangelist Philip praying to God mm. that God should give him the gift that he gave to his daughters. (laughs) 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 Pastors who are doing a wonderful work, taking care of people's souls, they are now being trampled upon like useless people Mm. by these useless charlatans. And believers are leaving the pastor's church Mm. to go to join the prophetic church. Mm. Mm. What an amazing... (laughs) Mm. Dimension amazing. of confusion. Mm. A pastor is a shepherd. Yes. A shepherd's job is to spend the whole day yes. with the sheep, yes. feeding the flock of God, yes. which he has purchased with his own blood. Yes. The prophet must not even spend an hour with the congregation. And can she take one hour? Yes. Yeah. Huh? Uh, one hour. I was wondering, Chris Oyakilumi of Christ Embassy, mm-hmm. at one point he said he prayed for a car which, whose engine was broken mm-hmm. and the car started working mm-hmm. without a mechanic. I think the car either had no engine or it had certain parts missing. <laughs> but he said he started it and it ran. And, and people clapped hands for him. That's the madness. And after a few months, he came and said, I couldn't fix my marriage with my wife. Mm-hmm. But I was able to fix. And I was saying, but your car and your marriage are the same thing. Yes. They are engines. Yes. Why couldn't you pray for Anita to behave? Yes. yes. Imagine a pastor mm-hmm. being able to fix a car with his anointing, mm-hmm. but unable to fix a marriage. Mm-hmm. Where would the pastoral job be more required right. to manifest? Yeah. yeah, between fixing of cars mm-hmm. and fixing of marriages. Fixing, fixing of, of marriages. marriages. Anointing ya kaya kata za marriage ya guna motka. Fred, you are in my spectacles. I go now to my cards. I go to cheat them. Rumo I say. I say go now. Can you reach your so plan your building? I go up and my spectacles are gonna rock a home. And but now I'm going to see you gonna do. Join, join your design. Imagine I go to my spiritual spectacles. Uto goa, but my stone. Yes. The most don't Imagine Mm. 
Chino shami sani chie kutiva no tenda kuti ano ona. Havana mm-hmm. kubunza mbunze hoyo. Mm-hmm. Kuti pati papa mrukupa wana ma spiritual spirit kose. Dungu wae kuti enya ajandeka. Mm-hmm. Chino ngati uori bofa asuru kukuvera maziso. <laughs> Pasa kana uji kukuvera wana maziso. Unga pewa ni osina. <laughs> kana uji kukuvera wana maziso. 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 Kana uji kukuvera wana and it was over the Kanya in a flower, Mubike, one is a Gujiga Saka. My peepee, ne umbava, but mother impava, chido, chido, bava, zino, zino, admir, no yamur one, Ivan, imbava. Saka, I'm John, I've a million issues in which it would. Vano Charica Charica, Kunke, Vanam Jamba, yes. Fangeri chera haribude. 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 Haribude